My name is Ty French, and these are my rants. Welcome to Ty Rants. Hello and welcome back to Ty Rants. My name is Ty French and these are my rants today. Surprise! We are joined by the one, the only, Josefina Cuervo. I'm back, back, back. Back again on a special day. A special day. It is Wednesday, not Friday. But I wanted Jose to come on today instead of on Friday in a few days because we got to talk about the marathon. Yes, 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 yes. We were in San Diego over the weekend, and we just had the most amazing time. Jose crushed it the half running marathon. the marathon. Oh, my God. The half marathon. When I address you, I don't say short person. <laughs> you just say person. And so when I'm speaking about the marathon, I just say marathon. I don't say the length of the marathon. If you want it to be addressed as a half marathon and, you know, dilute your accolades, then I will do so. <laughs> but to me, it's a marathon. And a win is a win. A win is a win. And uh, we were winner babies. And apparently we're in Iraq well, outside. Lady Gaga's here for me. Um, yeah, so we were in San Diego. We had so much fun. And obviously, I wanted to give a life update. And so Jose's going to, you know, share his experience. Yes. On the marathon. How was it? How do well, you feel? First of all, thank you for having me back again. A new month. Back, it's back, back again. always such a joy <laughs> to end. <laughs> March on such a high note. Just March. You know what's crazy is what? that you uh, recording these episodes with you is making the uh, the months go by so much quicker. I know because I blink and I'm like, oh shit, I got to record tomorrow. The motorcycles are at another level <laughs> today, I guess. You know what? Because the sun's out and spring is here. Mm -hmm. Spring has sprung. Spring has sprung. Did the groundhog see a shadow or not? I remember you wrote talked about it. I think he didn't. Did I? Uh, you did. Paxawani Phil. If you think that doing one episode a month <laughs> for your ass makes the year go by fast. Imagine how tired I am I doing two a week. Like I blink and I'm like, oh my God, it's Friday again. I know. Oh my God, it's Wednesday. Oh my God, it's Friday. And the next thing you know, I've had 10 episodes out. People will DM me and they're like, oh my gosh, when you talked about this, I was dying. I'm like, talk about what? I don't know my first name anymore. I'm just here spit, spit, spitting. And that's why, honestly, with the podcast, I'm like, if someone cancels me one day over something I said, I'm like, I don't even believe that. Yeah, pull up the receipts. I don't even know what I'm saying. Right, right, right. Half the time, I'm just here to yeah. have a bomb, put it out into the world, never yeah. to hear it again. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, back but to the yes. run. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. New month. We are finally we finally did it. We ran, we ran, ran, ran. And ran we reached our streets. goal and the GoFundMe. our goals. Yes. First of all, yes. That's the biggest shout out. So, shout out to Stu Screw. We did reach our goal of, uh, surpassed our goal of 14,000 by a... Oh, I think we were like 15 plus yeah. by the time we wrapped up, which was such an undertaking. Um, I'm sure the page is still up. So if you guys want to go read about what we ran for, please go. Um, it is a near and dear, uh, you know, moment for our friend who suffered from that. So, you know, it was such a that in itself was just a moment um, just to be able to run for such a good cause. And, and it having was, you guys being there, support was so great. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see that the hat that everyone wore for Stu's crew. Um, yeah, it was, I mean, I didn't even run. I hate running. Right. I, I'm not a runner whatsoever. And I really just, you know, I, I, I decided I'd be better as a cheerleader on the sideline. Sure. However, that's what I thought. Yeah. And then I get there and I was so emotional watching everyone in the marathon, half marathon, <laughs> not even like my friends, like before you guys right. even came, I feel like I was getting so emotional watching. I mean, there's people in wheelchairs, there's blind yeah. people, there's, you know, people that like don't have a leg or right. there's just like, you know, people that you can tell like running isn't in, in their everyday life and sure. they're just really like committed to this thing and they shut down like the whole city yeah. and there's so many people, there's hundreds of people along the sidewalks all throughout the city, just like cheering on people they don't even know. And yeah, I don't know. It was and just you don't like know so what that, emotional. You don't know what that does for someone running. Like, you know, I don't even know half the people on that cheer, like towards that end. Yeah. And just like having people cheering you on, whether you know them or not, just yeah. like hearing those cheers and like, you're almost there. It's just like such a, like a power boost energy. Yeah. That you're just like, wow, there's like, good people in the world, good energy here, like 
So that in itself is just always such a good feeling. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like definitely don't feel like you gave us, like you gave us a, your, your support was needed there. No, for sure. It just felt like, I, I don't know. I, I was thinking so small minded when I, I mean, I've never like watched a marathon. Right. I've never been in one. I've never been asked to be in one. And I was just like, I don't want to make this about me and complain the entire time. Right. Like I'm going to be running the 13 miles and I'm going to be bitching and complaining. And like, <laughs> it's like for a bigger cause. Yeah. And I don't want to make it about me. I don't want to slow right. anyone down. I know I hate running. So like, that's why I was like, I'm going to respectfully bow out. I'll be on the sidelines. And then I got, I get there and I'm like, put me in coach. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready to run. And guess what? I'll right. run my life off. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I have, you know, I'm healthy. I've got two legs. I'm ready. Like I can do this. And I don't know. It just is such an infectious energy. So I've, I've got the bug. I've got the taste. Yeah. Maybe, maybe next time I'll join I you know, guys. I know but. you briefly brought it up. So we might have a little, you know, I just start with the 5K. training soon. Okay. 5k. We'll start with the 5k. And I almost just want to go on blind. No training. Yeah. Because well, I think, you know, if you train, then your body knows like what's ahead. But if I don't know, it's like, put me in. I'm just going to run and I'm going right. to run until I see the finish line. Yeah. You're young enough where you can like sustain an injury and recover fairly quickly. I don't know about that anymore, <laughs> but I literally feel exhausted from the weekend. No, I, mean, I didn't even do anything. Yeah. So let's backtrack. So we drove down Saturday morning thinking it was going to be a gorgeous day down to San Diego. Of course, it's pouring rain the whole way. We live in beautiful Southern California for what? Good weather. Right. We drove down to San Diego. What did we get? Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane. It took us literally like, what, five hours to yeah, get there? Yeah, four and a half, five hours. Yeah. What should take an easy two hours. Two and a half. Yeah. Literally almost five hours. Yeah. And it was bumper to bumper. And so much rain. So much rain. And it was like that crazy rain that like lifts off the ground. It's like Like all we were scared the... driving. Yeah. Like you got to take your time. So... We started up there, but we got there. We met up with the crew. The energy was strong. Everyone was there, ready to rage to support the runners for the next day. So, but but let's not let's not confuse the tyrants. Um, we were ready to rage, you know, metaphorically. I very proudfully <laughs> did not not to make the weekend about me. I didn't have one sip of alcohol this weekend. No, you didn't. And I'm feeling stunning. Yeah, I'm feeling yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had a few drinks. Yeah, no, you had some. <laughs> As we're driving down, it's like, <laughs> you know, the training's done. The race is tomorrow morning. I'm going to have a beer. I'm going to have a beer. I'm going to have a beer. And we're like, oh, okay, okay. And, he, you know, 20 minutes goes by. He's like, you know, maybe I'll have a few beers. Yeah. I'll have a few beers. And we're like, oh, okay. Heart-loading, heart-loading. Okay. Yeah. 10 minutes goes by. He's like, okay, I'll have one vodka soda. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, okay, fine. I'll have a few vodka sodas. Mom, no, 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 no. Boozing was had. We had a great time, um, you know, celebrating. It was just such a nice moment to be with everyone. So, of course, like, literally goodbye to the motorcycle outside. <laughs> of course, I'm going to celebrate and have a drink. Of course. And yeah, like I said, the training's done. To. Yeah, had to. Training was done. 12, was it 12 weeks? I think 12 gruesome weeks. No, it was, was That's it 12 crazy. weeks for me. Because we had friends who literally, like, did no training. I know. I mean, it might have like, shown, but... <laughs> Yeah, 12 week half of, tr- of training. Yeah, 12 weeks. And so. literally, Jose and his boyfriend Drew finished yeah. first out of yes. all the crew. How many people ran? Like 20 people? Yeah, I think it was like at the end of it, it's like 18, 19 people in our crew. Yeah. So what was your time? Uh, so I did it in an hour and 58 minutes. That is crazy. 13 miles. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, I was looking at my breakdown this week or this like a few days ago. Had I had there not been that crazy hill. So you guys, San Diego, you never know what you're going to get. And OK, let me start. If there's any runners out there and I had a, a few uh, tyrants reach out and like uh, we're asking about like my training and stuff, which thank you guys for reaching out. Um, so I've I've ran four marathons in the past. So but this was when I was younger. I'm talking like 10 years ago <laughs> when I was a young chicken on these streets. Um, so training is like needed. Um, and where was I going with this point? I was talking about the training because, oh, like my time. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you never know what kind of course you're going to get. And I've never ran San Diego. I've ran San Francisco and I've ran L.A. So, no, I've like, I saw the course map. Obviously, you look at the map and you're like, okay, this is what it's going to be. It's also 13 miles for anyone who doesn't know anything about marathons. (laughs) A half marathon is 13.1 miles. I was unaware. Right. So, nothing prepares you to the course unless you actually train in the city that you're going to run in. So they had warned us about this like crazy mile eight 
hike necessarily, not necessarily a hike, but an uphill run that was going to happen. I'm thinking I ran LA. I ran San Francisco. I know what a hill looks like. Yeah. Nothing, nothing in the world prepared me for the It was worse than San Diego. I mean, San, than Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah. The most gruesome two miles, <laughs> mile and a half, because it's just a steady incline. Nothing's worse than a steady incline. Like, you know, you're going up, but you can't like, it's like not like a direct right. run up the hill, like a full mile and a half of just steady uphill running. So that took me back a few minutes. Um, you know, I try to catch up towards the end, but and this is also at mile like eight, nine, ten. So you're almost at the finish line. So your body cannot fully recover as quickly. Right. Like to bounce back and like put your full energy in there. Um, so that wasn't that in itself was a challenge. I almost cried and like felt all the emotions in that section because I'm like, there is no way in hell I'm going to finish this anymore. Yeah. Like my legs are gonna give out. I would have given up. I it was the most painful thing I've ever experienced. And I'm not even kidding. And maybe this is like I sound dumb and naive because like if you guys have watched people or you guys have done marathons, and obviously you guys get it, but like I'm talking there are mothers like with strollers right. doing this marathon. Like yeah. literally like people in wheelchairs, like by themselves, like, you know, pushing themselves. And I'm like, you did that whole two mile hill? Yeah. I feel like a lazy piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Not only that, I mean, fun fact. So we shared a room. Um, Ty stayed with us and um, we were like all like the next day, Drew and I went, woke up and had to go run, which, by the way, congratulations to Drew, too. He also finished with me. We, we love you, we Drew. We ran side by side together. So we high five at right before we ran down the um, last little stretch where we knew everyone was going to be. So high five? Kind of, Why did you give him a kiss? No, because we were running. We high five. <laughs> oh, we're okay. like, we're still running. We've got to finish this. We yeah, made yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, which, side note, poor him. His his <laughs> ankle is so purple today. <laughs> he rolled his ankle in the first 10 steps. <laughs> yeah. like he's right. He, we take off. And if again, you, you take off with everyone. So it's like a hurdle of people running. And he misstepped and like didn't realize it was a pothole and like he literally <laughs> twisted his ankle. Literally in I'm the first thinking, 10 steps. Yeah, I'm thinking like, oh, his marath his half marathon is done. <laughs> He's about to just sit it out. That's so me though. <laughs> like me trains, does it, gets there, and then he immediately falls. And I'm like, oh no, I have to medically well, discharge. You know what? what you know what went through my head when that happened? What? I'm like, oh my God, I need Ty to go to the room and hide that <laughs> gift that I got, Drew, because he wouldn't be able to get it. But you're, he gets medically discharged, he breaks his ankle, and you don't give him the gift. No, gonna... because his gift said, congratulations on finishing your first half marathon. He doesn't deserve it if okay, he didn't finish. He at least trained and tried. <laughs> Bye. Luckily, he finished. He ran on a, he ran on a uh, sprained ankle, or a, not a sprain, but twisted ankle, and he finished right along with me. So that was cool. But anyway, I was saying... Um, yeah, that last stretch is just just so crazy. So you're just like running and praying. Wait, what were you shit. saying about um, our room? We shared a room. Oh, we shared a room. Right. Oh, shit. Yeah. So Sunday morning, you know, first of all, I, I was the only one that drank. Well, Drew and I drank, had a few drinks. Yeah, the blah, two blah, people blah. who were not running <laughs> yeah. were the only two that did not drink. And we still were so tired when we woke up. We were exhausted. We had both of our silk sleeping masks <laughs> on. They like got up at 5 a.m. We were like, bye-bye. Well, that was the point. I'm like, we got up and we're like running at 6 a.m. Yeah. And you're like, there's no way. Like, turn I off was... the light. I got a sleeping mask on. <laughs> and even when the alarm went off for us to get up to like go meet you guys at the finish line, we snoozed it like 10 times. <laughs> we were so tired. It was also an iceberg. Well, you had an iceberg on your side. It was super hot. Just in San Diego in general. It was yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. It was it was it was a cold weekend. It was rainy. It was cold. It was windy. I had every emotion go by while I was running, and I had every season while I was running. <laughs> That's true. There was rain. There was hail. I think at one point <laughs> there was clouds. Then there was a the sun that came out nicely. Yeah, it and ended it up being just, nice. Ended up being a nice day. Windy. I mean, the wind was insane. But again, we finished. We finished strong. So. Congratulations to Stu's crew. We We're did it. Congratulations proud. congratulations to Claire. Huge shout out to Claire for putting this all together. She killed it. And obviously we uh, love her and her family for this great cause that we ran for. So Yeah, it was a really amazing weekend. It was really fun. It was very wholesome and cute. We love Claire so much. And yeah, next, next, next marathon, half, half. I'll, I'll get in there with you. Okay. But I need to be warm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you can do it. You can, uh, you can do it. Yeah, you can train. I can do anything. You can. You can do. Wait, what is this song? I can do anything. You wait. <laughs> yes. You can do anything. I can do better. What? Now I can do anything. You can do better. I can do anything. You can do. Wait, what? Better. I, I can, can do, do anything. You, you can, can do, do better. better. Right. 
Okay, but like without the grant, without the punctuation, like that sentence is kind of confusing. I can do anything. You can do better. It's like, okay, well, can you do it better then, or can I do it better? Like, <laughs> yes, where is big the comma? Run on Where's the comma? <laughs> like, I can do anything. You can do anything better. Or is it I can do anything that you can do, but better? That, that's what it punctuation is. is key. Grammar, mama. Yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for spilling and giving <laughs> us that <laughs> that update on the marathon. Do you have any other life update from the last month? I know that. Here's the thing. We were driving home from the marathon and I said, I'm so proud of you. Congrats. And I'm so happy that you can <laughs> shut the hell up about this <laughs> marathon now. Because that's all he's talked about literally for the last three months. Every time we try to go out, oh, I can't. I'm not drinking because the marathon. The marathon's in four months. <laughs> like, you can have a beer. But my training. I know. But I'm very proud of you. Right. And, and now it's done. So I'm, now I'm walking around. I'm still have, you know, I'm able to. Two legs. Yeah. I'm able to move around about this cabin. I'm actually going to go to the gym today. I think I'm oh good. Oh, my God. Go okay. Back. No one cares about that. Tell us more about, like, anything else new. Um, Drew, your boyfriend is moving closer to me. Yeah. AKA Drew's so moving. Jose is moving closer to me. <laughs> Drew is moving, so he's moving this weekend. So I'm stay so tuned excited to have you guys back over on the west side. I mean, I don't know how west side will be, but it's, it's closer. Ten minutes away. Closer, yeah, uh, more, better than 45 minutes. Right, right. Uh, which, by the way, it took me 20 minutes to get here just off the freeway exit. It was, it's so bad. It's, it was so crazy. I know I was over by you today, but I didn't hit any traffic. Oh well, good. lucky, good for you. Isn't that good? You know, I just bleed luck. Nice. Isn't that just amazing? Um, in other news, we have to give a warm shout out and congratulations to my best friend Tessa. Woohoo! She announced her pregnancy she today. Did. I'm so freaking excited. We got Coco 2.0 coming on board. Mm-hmm. Um, I gotta say though, I'm mad at them. Why? Because they're too cute. They're just too cute. I know. What's going to happen? I can't. I can't keep up. Like, stop. I can't handle it. I actually can't. Like, we don't know the gender, but right. I'm like, like, she doesn't find out her gender. And I can't I, process it. I, 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 can't, I can't handle another Coco. Right. Like, she's so perfect. She's so cute. I'm yeah. obsessed. And I'm just like, I, I, I can't. And her, JC, Chelsea, all my girlfriends are pregnant. I know. It's crazy. But and all of them make cute babies. I know. I know. It's criminal. Yeah. So I can't have kids because they're going to be ugly, probably. <laughs> they get my <laughs> face. Speaking of, if you're watching on YouTube, surprise, we're back on YouTube today. Oh, that's right. I'm um, surprised I haven't shouted it out. Shout out to all my YouTubers. Shout out to the YouTube tyrants. Um, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Oh. I, the truck outside, if you can hear it, ignore it. I talked about uh, two weeks ago how I had a yes, huge sit on my nose. It's still here. It will not go away. It's like inside my nose, like underneath. And yeah. I'm telling you, Rudolph, the red nose reindeer, oh. had a very red, red nose. <laughs> and if you ever saw him, it's just... We are in Mad Max Fury. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, did you know they're making another one of those? We are in Dune 4. But they are filming it outside of my apartment. <laughs> oh, my God. Mad Max is releasing a new movie this weekend. I don't I think. know if I've ever seen any of them. The original But if I like really Dune, good. maybe I would like it. Yeah, yeah, I think you would. I Just saw the so uh, style itself. I saw a screen by screen comparison from Dune 1984 to the current one. I didn't realize like how tick for tat it is. Like, oh, really? It's, it's like some of the shots are almost exact. I didn't even realize it was a Dune 1984. Yeah. Oh, the game? No, like a movie. Oh, really? There was already a movie, the original. Oh, one. I didn't know. This is like a new adaptation because yeah. you know it's a book. Yeah, yeah, I knew it's a book. Yeah. I still uh, haven't gone around to watching the movie. I told you I was going to watch it. You told me you were going to watch it two days ago. I know. I just fell asleep. What did you end up watching? What did I end up watching? Probably. Oh, no. Guess what's back? What? The Amazing Race. Oh, my God. The Amazing Race is back. When are we going to sign up? All my little Amazing Race tyrants that watch the, a new season is here. Okay, but do any does anyone watch that? Because I don't hear one peep of that online. Tyrant, sound off if you watch The Amazing Race. Let me know. And also contact your lo- local casting agent <laughs> and submit us. <laughs> but I'm really going to have to go on a diet. They then. always post it like if you want to try out and like sign up for the well, casting. Well, let's do stuff, it. Come on. I don't know. I'm like, I, you know, I fluctuate. Let's do it. Come on. I got to really go on a diet though. <laughs> I got to I gotta really get a shape. Speaking of food, I am addicted right now to what to the chicken caesar wrap from california chicken oh. kitchen cafe what's it called yeah ccc california chicken Cal- california, california chicken cafe it is jose i've had it 10 times in the last it's four days so crazy that you say that i've had it for lunch dinner breakfast lunch dinner it i'm not exaggerating go on my postmates it's the only thing i've eaten for the last six days <laughs> well, i'm a- 
obsessed. And I'm hoping it's just going to be really skinny. Well, I was going to say, that's that's a better option than, you know, your usual Taco Bell. I haven't gotten Taco Bell in a while. Your it's normally Jack in the Box. Pizza Hut is, is my latest <laughs> vice. Um, but yeah. No, but that's so funny that you mentioned that because, because when you brought up the CCC chicken wrap and we talked about it on the way down to San mm -hmm. Diego... I was like, wait, you know what? I haven't had a decent chicken Caesar salad in a while. So I've been making myself chicken Caesar salad. No, 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 no. I know. I like home, CCC. You need to order that. I, I just had it 20 minutes before we walked in. I'm Well, where's mine? I can't get enough. Guess I didn't get one. I, I, I can't even save half of it for later because I <laughs> goblet swallow it so damn fast. It's so good. Well, that's amazing. Anyways, do you I have any other life Caesar updates salad. that you want to give? Um, Yeah, so... I mean, not really a life update, but now <laughs> yeah. I need to figure out what to do with myself because I'm not running. So I need to well, figure you can out still like, run. well, yeah, but like with purpose, you know, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Like now it's like not, I'm not running like 10 yeah. mile weekends yeah. anymore. You so, want more purpose in your life. Well, now I'm thinking I'm going to, I might go back to like, you know, either like CrossFit or like start doing berries again. Oh God. She's in her gym era. I've always am, but it's, I come in and out because mm -hmm. it's just like, well, we're doing berries on Saturday. We are the new berries ride. So that should be exciting. I'm terrified. No, what? I've only ever done one berries in my whole life. And I almost had to walk out. Really? Eh, because I don't need when I'm on a treadmill, if you guys don't know what berries is, it's like a half floor workout with like weights and then yeah. half like treadmill. And then yeah. now they're doing like half bike and half floor. The instructor will get up. If you are not yeah. running fast enough, he will turn your machine up and mm. scream in your ear. Run faster. Come on. Come on, yeah. French. Come on. You got this. Right. Um, excuse me, sir. I'm going to need you to respectfully back the f up. Yeah. Get two steps away from me. And also, like, muchacho, I'm running as fast as I can. And if you put that incline up one more dot, right. you're going to need to call 911. Right. No, you're right. Get out of my little, face. Well, that, but you know what I will say, though? And also, turn the lights off because I don't want anyone seeing me. Uh, facts. I mean, I don't want any. I when you're on the floor anywhere. doing abs and like yeah. people are doing sit ups faster than you, yeah. you're like, actually, I don't think you're supposed to just like flail your body up to stick to the beat. I gotta, you know, really focus <laughs> yeah. on the con. What's it called? I just hate people that can post a really good picture after they work out at Barry's. No. And look so pretty. I'm no. like, I'm gonna be on a stretcher and a gurney <laughs> yeah. in the back of an ambulance <laughs> Saturday afternoon. But I will say, my body has never looked better when I was doing Barry's consistently. How are you doing it consistently? You're poor. <laughs> Excuse you. I can see that because I'm poor. I used to do berries consistently. For free? Yes. Okay, well, great. <laughs> nepotism. <laughs> no. Um, wait, speaking of ne nepotism, have you guys, have you been watching Buying Beverly Hills? No, uh, I know it's new, but I haven't been watching it's it. It's like so much better than Selling Sunset and honestly, so much better than Housewives. But this is season two, right? Yeah. Did you watch season one? Yeah. Oh. It was good, but season two is way better. That's what Drew said. It's like really good. Yeah. I feel like it's like putting Beverly Hills Housewife to shame. Wow. Because they like talk about the drama so much. And it's like a perfect blend of like Housewives because you get the whole Umansky the family. Tea. Yeah. But then also with like Selling Sunset because they're like in like nice houses, whatever. But it's not as like Selling Sunset just feels like literal fraud, like right. fake made up shit. Yeah. Just this pretty is like actual drama, like right, and like an actual business, the agency, and like the actual like team members and yeah. the family. So it's really good. You should watch it. Crazy, maybe I will. I've been um, watching it. You know what I did watch last night? Mm. The first episode of pa Palm Royale. Oh, I've heard about that. Oh my god, it's so good. But isn't that on like Apple? It is on Apple. So here's my thing. I don't have Apple. <laughs> well, here's my thing. They give you the f premiere episode for free okay. on Apple TV, and now I'm like, well. F what am I going to do? I need to watch That's why the they rest. Do it. But I'm going to wait till the whole season's out and then subscribe for a month because mm -hmm. it's only 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I'm a binge watcher. Yeah. So I'll yeah. just binge it uh -huh. and then unsubscribe. I might have. Oh, oh, I think I canceled it. I got like free three months Apple uh, with your laptop Plus when I got my laptop. But then it, it didn't have like a like a it had like an automatic renew. And I knew I was going to forget after the three months. So then I just canceled it. Yeah, but because it I never watched anything. Yeah, but it cancels for you at three months. Mm -mm. Nope. Auto renew. I had to enter my card information, whatever, press it, whatever, accept. And so I just canceled it because I, I didn't, after like a month, I didn't use it. And I was like, I'm going to forget. So I just canceled it. No, I know. But, but it tells you on there, you have up to this month and then it's done. Like when no, you're like, I know, but I'm not going to uh, check that. Well, I know, but it's like, if I have, like for Apple Plus, like Disney Plus, for example, I used to pay like a yearly fee. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not even watching Disney Plus anymore. So I just like turned it off at like month six. But it tells you you have up to like month no, 12 to watch. No, mine canceled immediately. Oh, wow. It didn't let me use the free trial until. <laughs> I know it's a scam. Yeah. So talk about a scam. Ooh. I just got this new laptop after years. Yeah. It was, it was 2017 was the yes. last one I got. Two weeks later, they dropped a brand new one. 
Oh, that's right. They dropped a brand new one, and everyone's like, it's game changing. It's amazing. Now you can buy this laptop at Walmart for $500. <gasps> I paid $1,200 for this. Two weeks later, they dropped a new one. I said, excuse me, sir, at the Apple store, could you have given me a warning? Yeah. Said, hey, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, wait two weeks. Yeah. Although you wouldn't Ooh. have waited two weeks. Well, I couldn't have because no, I literally I, had work to do, but yeah. I probably could have waited. You probably could have asked for a refund. You, do you, you know what a rain think check Tim is? Cook's giving me a, a <laughs> refund? I don't think so, honey. Do you remember rain checks? No. You don't know. Of course you don't know what a rain like check is. Like when someone asks you to brunch and you say rain check. Well, do, hey, but you know what? That's That rain check, you can ask for one. Like, let's say you go to like Target and let's say they have something on their sale page or whatever the little sales it's like thing. a price match but like for like a sale for a later time so like yeah. they give you a voucher that's like a rain check and then you can come back and let's say they're out of the item that you want mm -hmm. at set price mm -hmm. and you're like yeah, i don't well, think, they don't have that i don't think apple does that but <laughs> i appreciate you filling me in on that um yeah. before we get into our totally random thoughts uh oh we've got a few things that we want to discuss pop okay. culture wise oh well, oh that, yes that we want to discuss that i decided we we're going to discuss first off um we going to hell. Oh. Straight down. Elevator. Okay. Ding. Straight down to hell. Okay. Why? Kate Middleton has cancer. Oh, I know. I know. And you know what? I'm not going to hell because I never once questioned where she was. That's because you don't know who she I is. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. Here's what I will say about that all. One, obviously, I, I always said, like, I hope she's okay. Right. Like, I hope she's okay. Like, jokes aside, I always, like, hope that she was fine. Yeah. Two. I maybe hot take, hot take, hot take. Hot I don't mic. apologize for the speculation. Hot mic. I don't apologize for the speculation no. because guess what? Guess who threw her under the bus? Not the public, her own family, I know. the crown, the monarchy literally yeah. threw her under the bus. When the public gained concern over not seeing the princess for months on end, right. even though they said she went under for a surgery, whatever, right. no communication, no photos, whatever. The public starts to get concerned and it's mm. like, hey, where is she? And then they release a doctored, photoshopped, proven fact photo of heads being moved. The children are not in the photo or not. Yeah. Um, Excuse me. Let's look at the track record of the royal family. Right. Hello, cough, cough, Princess Diana. Yeah. Hello, cough, cough, colonized the entire world. Right, right, right. Um, Yeah. So forgive me for being a little nervous about... The princess suddenly having this weird elusive surgery yeah. and going missing. And then when we're like, oh, we hope she's okay. But it's kind of weird that we haven't seen her. They release a Photoshop photograph. That was uh, wild. That's on you. That's not on right, me. Right, right, And right. also. They set themselves up. They set themselves up. And also like two things. Two things can be true at once. Of course. People deserve privacy. Yes. And a right to, you know, privacy and healthcare and whatever. Yeah. Then also, you know, when you're, you're not even, a, she's not even a politician. She's not even no, she's uh, in the public vice eye. president, pro, vice president, public figure, celebrity, whatever. You're a monarch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are going to be the queen of England. Right. You literally, like I said, your family has colonized the entire world. Right. So b beg our pardon for now that you literally colonized the entire world <laughs> and you make everyone care about you and you literally own half the world and you live in this castle and now we care about you because you're missing? And you're like, oh, well, I deserve privacy. Okay, well, you should have thought about that before you ruled the whole <laughs> world for the last 12 <laughs> centuries. Like, you're not going to have privacy. Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah. a thing. Right. And, like, if Jill Biden all of a sudden one day was like, oh, I'm going in for surgery. We're like, okay, great. Like, do your thing. We hope yeah. you heal quickly. Yeah. Four months later, no sight. Then the public starts to get worried. Right. Then they release a whole AI-ass photograph. Right, right, We'd right. be like... Show us Jill Biden yeah. or I'm going to the White House. Like, right. I don't apologize for having speculation. And I think we no, live in a society you. like it's very. And I said this, I think, in my initial episode, like it was giving submersible. Like, right. it's kind of a dark situation, but like we make jokes out of it. And right. like, that's just right the humor. society that sure. we live in because everything is so effed up. Right. We have no control over everything. Yeah. Literally, we can't even eat meat without <laughs> it being freaking toxic. We can't drink yeah. water without getting microplastics right. in our system. We don't know what our government is even doing. They're yeah. funding wars left and right that we didn't sign up for. Yeah. So forgive us when we try to make a joke and memes out of something that is actually really dark. Yeah. The submersible, obviously, so sad. People yeah. went, died. There was like a 17-year-old kid in there was just trying to go hang out with his dad. Great. Yeah. But guess what? 
How is the public going to cope with that? With no information, no, nothing that, that we can do about it. Right. We're going to joke about it because that yeah. is what we have to do to survive in situations like this. No, I agree. So I, think, I, I think, don't apologize for the jokes. And you shouldn't. And here's the thing that people don't realize too. Like Americans love the royal family, like to the point where like we make Netflix shows for it. Right. right. Like, so there is an obsession there. That's like, even if you talk to people from London or from England or whatever, from the UK, they're like, yeah, you Americans care more than we do. Like sometimes, you know, um, and but I also, think they also need that right. support in order for the monarchy to keep happening, in order for right. the public not to literally turn on them and be like, move out of the castle. <laughs> yeah. Like, our taxpayer dollars pay for this. Like, guess what? If the president of the United States lived in freaking castle, hell no, that's not going to happen. Like, because I'm paying for that. All right. And so, like, that is the give and take. It's like, that is your job. Like, it yeah. is like a give and a take situation. So, like, yes, I do think you have a right to privacy, but... It's similar to when, I mean, this is like on such a smaller scale, but like housewives, like when they go through like a divorce or a breakup or oh, whatever, yeah. or like even like Instagram couples, like right. the Instagrammers make you care so much about their life right, and right, they right. put their whole relationship out there. And then when they break up, they're like, oh, I don't want to talk about it. Like no questions asked. Like they don't want you to bring it up or right, comment and they're deleting weird. all the comments or whatever. It's like, well, you made me care. Yeah. You literally threw your relationship in my, in my face yeah. for the last year. Right. And then when you break up, it's like, forget, I'm not saying you owe me an answer, but like, sure. you cannot, you can't fault me for being curious. Right. So, you know what I mean? It's like, you want me to care when it's convenient for you and when you benefit for it. But then when it's something too private, you all of a sudden now I'm a <laughs> creep and the public needs to get a grip on people because, you know, people deserve privacy. It's like, Okay, what? Well, then don't make me care in the first place. I think it'd be different too. Here's a, here's another hot take. I think it'd be different too because the way like Harry and Meg Megan kind of handled their situation, where they're like, "We're turning off immediately. We don't want to be a part of this world that you guys want to be a, want us to be a part of." So they like were like, "We're choosing out. We don't want to be and in the scrutiny of they the public." All scrutinized her for it, right, 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 and we read her for filth for it. But you know, they came out of, on top. The royal or, like, family whatever. did. The royal family yeah. like literally ruined them yeah dragged them through and yeah. then now when something's happening to them they're like oh harry and megan need to make a statement and like help us and whatever ew blow yeah, me yeah, see you later so weird also we haven't king charles is also has cancer and we haven't heard from him much so it's all uh, some something's happening over there right something's weird because the the fact that that again goes back to the point of what we what we romanticize right mm -hmm. maybe the right word Versus what we just don't care about. Like, no one's, like, worried about King Charles. Well, and I also think it goes to show, like, PR, right. like, is someone's job for a reason. Yeah. And you're literally some of the most influential, most well-known people in the world. Right. And this, the way that you handled it, you only have yourself to blame mm. for whatever came out of that and whatever happened and whatever people speculated. Because... Even if, like, yes, you deserve privacy and if you wanted time to, you know, figure out how you're going to tell your children and all mm -hmm. the stuff, like, 100%, get that. But the lies, the cover-up, the photoshopping, all of that, that is what caused the speculation. You know what I mean? Yes. So, I don't know. It it's was all just all like a weird. PR nightmare, but... There's a great show. I was Googling the great show that I watched from the UK that was... Um, it's a scripted show, but mm -hmm. it was about, like, PR damage control. Oh, interesting. It was just so good. Really? What is the show called? <laughs> oh, we're good. Flack. It's called Flack. She's she's a she's a PR agent. Oh, okay. and it's just like they but they do damage control for like pop stars, celebrities, mm. royals, like um, like rich elite. Like yeah. it's just so crazy and it's so well scripted that it's just like a crazy like you see them like create like sort of like what was that show that um everyone scandal? You know how yeah, like she yeah. was? It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. that. Like you see her create this process of like, okay, we're going to do this. You're going to be pictured here. We're going to have you do this. You're going to do this. Like yeah. it's just such a I machine. Think, I think what happens is like, A, the queen, I think this is a testament to how much the queen really ran the ship. Like she was in charge of everything and she was so solid and she had been around for so long that like yeah. she knew how to cover things up. She knew how the the public would perceive things and what act. to do and right. what the give and take was and what things to be private and how much to give to you know calm the the public scrutiny or whatever and then now that she's gone they don't know what they're doing like yeah. charles is not and obviously if he's struggling with his own cancer diagnosis like he doesn't know what he's doing right and they are so like trying to stay 
like in a certain time period. They're mm. not trying to like cave into social media, into tabloids and all of this stuff. They're trying to remain very separate from like trying to be like influencers and socialites to being like, no, we are royalty. Like we are yeah. a monarchy. And this proved that they have to lean in. They have to lean yeah. in a little bit. Like you do have to accept that like social media, like, whether you're on board or not, we'll be speaking about you. We'll create our own narrative if you do not give us a narrative to go off of. And so I feel like they're really going to have to lean more into figuring out how, like, the the social order and the social, yeah. like, culture, like, talks about these things. Right. Not to dwell on this topic longer, but the same happened when Princess Diana died. Yeah. And the queen didn't react. And people were, like, there was, like, a period of, like day like people would count yeah. down like the queen still hasn't reacted it's day three yeah like the queen hasn't released a message where like her people had to go to her and be like oh no these sirens hold i think they found Kate middleton <laughs> <laughs> bye <laughs> i don't know literally it's been so quiet all week and then every time i sit down to record it is literally fiesta canteen outside <laughs> no but i was saying yeah like they had to like even her own people were like you have to make a statement yeah, like yeah. It's, you're at the point where you're you're actually gonna lose your your the love that you people have yeah. for you if you don't make a statement about princess diana yeah which is kind of like what they had to do now with this which like they right. were like okay y'all have to do something like yeah it, it can't just go on this whole privacy thing that you yeah. guys want to you know, lean on. So that was a great little topic. What else did you want to talk about? That well, you speaking of the royal in? family. Oh, more royal family. And, you know, Harry. Harry was named in a lawsuit. He was? With the one, the only, the scum of the earth, the absolute grossest person that lives on this planet. Ooh. P. Diddy. Oh, yeah, that's gross. I mean, that's real fresh, too. A lot's coming out right now. Was he listed on there? Yeah. He's like, his name comes up like very briefly, but basically they were saying like, like how people, basically that like P. Diddy like host parties that celebrities attend right. like Prince Harry. Right. And he, they threw him in the papers. So I'm sure uh, Prince Harry is having a really rough week, but. And for safety, I mean, for legal reasons, let's just say allegedly because. No, know. that's a fact. Oh. Like there's a photo together. He's been to the party. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying all these lawsuits, you know, everything's alleged. Right yeah, now. yeah, everything's right. alleged. Um, okay, you're from an older elk, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. P. Diddy is one of those names that, like, everyone just knows. Like, right. I know P. Diddy. Right. Who the hell is P. Diddy? Oh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, you don't, yeah. That just. I, I thought, I, like, I okay, he's an artist. Right. But then I looked. He only has one album, two albums now. His last one came out in 2023. So I'm like. Who's this person that has so much money and right. so much fame? And like, how do I know his name when he had one album in like yeah. 2002? Yeah. Well, he did this thing called Bad Boy Records back in the 90s and like with the Jay-Z's and the Dr. Dre's and them. And he had his own like like group of people called Bad Boy Records. Mm. And they all were like, like 112 and like people that you like a lot of R&B and artists were under his production company. Oh, OK. So he's so, like a producer. Not yeah, like he's, he's not like a. He's he, not known for being a rapper. No, and he's always kind of featured in like songs. So like right. he would like, let's say um, Chris Brown were to release a song mm -hmm. and he would be featured on it. Yeah, and but like, I'm like, you don't be become like a billionaire records. by being featured in a few songs. Well, he also like was best friends with Biggie and like it's a whole, you know, West Coast, East, I was just like, East Coast, West Coast, you know, back when like the East Coast, West Coast, like rap thing was a thing, you know, like, I don't know, like. Tupac versus Biggie from the, you know, it's a, it's a whole, we can go. Okay. Deep. Okay. Um, well, there's a lot of conspiracies there, but let's just say, um, well, Diddy's also very rich cause he has to rock. Um, that's his. Uh, yeah. So he's, he's, he's a mogul. Like yeah. he basically took his little money like Jay-Z and like made millions, yeah, you know, yeah. and created businesses like, well, but it's wild. Rot in prison. I know. P. Diddy. Well, did you see that? Like I was watching last night, like keeping up with some of the news and the whole jet thing, like his jet, like this jet he owns was in like Aruba the Caribbean. already. Or like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, how quick does this man move? But he, luckily he wasn't on there. But um, yeah, but that's even scarier. What is on there? Right. Like, what, what did he send he... to the Caribbean? <laughs> right. Like the evidence that's yeah, going to incriminate crazy. him. It's, it's gross. Crazy. It's, I'm so glad that. Cassie Cassie's got her yeah. settlement before he fled the country and I they know. seize all of his assets. Get your $50 million bag, bitch. Yeah. 
Yeah, Ew, but I mean, was... she earned it. I mean, she's been through hell and back, but... She has. I'm staying very tuned to this because um, I just feel like this is going to open a lot of can of worms for that whole business. You know, the music like, industry. You you made it in life. You're I so know. successful. You're so rich. Why you got to become a sex trafficker? I know. Why can't you just, you know, enjoy your life on your yachts and your private planes? Why you got to be a disgusting yeah. ass, scum of the earth, and be f weird? Yeah, it's an ego power trip. It's crazy. It's manipulation. It's wild. Anyway, I like in, cult culture. And cult culture. That's why I tell you that I like to like follow mm -hmm. it because it's so like it's almost cultish. No, yeah. I when mean, you have that much control over people. Yeah. Because I'm sure that he has a ring of people doing all his things for him. Ew, I don't I stay very tuned. Crazy. I'm sure Hulu will come out with the documentary tomorrow. <laughs> TMZ. Which by the way, sorry, gotta take a step back. You know who I really do not like is TMZ. Why? Because they released that freaking Kate Middleton. You know, jokingly, I texted you. I was like, can't wait for the special to drop. And then no, TMZ and they dropped the special the day before the queen, I mean, the queen, the princess announces that she has cancer. The night before, they're airing this whole conspiracy thing about her, mm -hmm. the, a whole two hour special on Fox, which, by the way, shame on you, Fox, for letting TMZ run amok with all these okay, random but things. Everything but that I just said stands true. Like, I know, I know, 100%. There was reason a lot for of speculation. speculation. Yeah, but TMZ. TMZ has a has been known to embellish. Yeah, no, for sure. The they're like documentaries that they do, like The Housewife and the Hustler, yes. Shaw, and all the things. I'm like, how did you make this so fast? So quick. Literally, like papers come out that Erica Girardi and Tom are, you know, allegedly fraud and this, this, that. And then two days later, there's a whole documentary yeah. with like sit-down <laughs> interviews. They're crazy. Um, anyways, in other sad news, did you see that bridge? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Because usually I'm full of sad news. I thought about bringing up the bridge um, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to skip the bridge. That was very sad. I, I don't know the details yet, but that's sad. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sure you guys have seen, but there was a bridge in Boston that a uh, container ship from Singapore accidentally crashed into because the power went out on it and it couldn't steer. It crashed into the bridge. The bridge, the whole entire bridge yeah, collapsed. I saw that. There were people on the bridge, construction workers and people driving yeah missing there's like 20 people still missing yeah that sucks that is literally like my worst nightmare you're driving Scary. over the bridge all of a sudden it collapses yeah jail well you know what's crazy i mean yes sorry like i've all right you know no i mean for those people yeah but in 1994 the earthquake the the northridge <laughs> earthquake happened here in la no 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 because <laughs> That I'm was so crazy. sorry about it. Not too, not no, before. no. In 1994, the the Northridge earthquake, er, Northridge earthquake hit LA. It was uh -huh. the biggest earthquake we've experienced. Blah blah blah. Whatever. And um, like the freeway fell, and so like people and people were going on their like morning commute to go to work, and like that is earth, terrifying. Yeah, that's what I. That's the whole point I was gonna make. Like the freeways collapsed. Yeah. Um, well, I mean. It, it, it's all terrible. Yeah, it's all, it's terrible, all terrible. But it happened at 3 a.m. I know. So, you know, there wasn't so many people. On Odds are, yeah. I read um, an article that said 20,000 people use that to commute to work <gasps> every day. So imagine that happened in rush hour traffic. 8 a.m. Oof. Hundred, thousands of people yeah. dead. Families. Yeah. Children. Yeah. Cars just... Yeah. That's what happens in a movie. Like, that is so crazy. Did you see the video of the, br of the boat yeah, yeah, actually? Yeah. yeah. So sad. crazy. So sad. sad. Anyways, Can we go on to some lighter news. Yeah, well, that's all just like kind of the news I want to talk about because I was gonna wait to talk about it on Friday, but by then it'd be like old news. It's like okay, K has cancer. We all moved on. Um, I'm not gonna bring okay. it up. I'm not gonna bring it up again. All I'm saying is unless we have to, unless no, uh, unless new, something new major things. happens. But yeah. obviously, obviously, I say I say everything slightly joking. I obviously feel terrible for her. I yeah. feel terrible that like she had to read all these speculations about her. I really think that the the monarchy needs to hire a good PR team mm. and we wish her a speedy recovery. We do. Um, and we but, wish the people from the bridge a speedy recovery as well. Oh my gosh. And I hope, I, we hope they find everyone. Right. Yeah. Um, <sighs> so and sad. lighter news. I do have, I did have a point to make to you. I knew I was going to be right for love is blind. When I knew the one couple that was going to make it, I already forgot their names. It was the only couple that made it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I told okay. you day one, they were going to make it. Okay. So I kind of was hating them at first. Now I see her Instagram pop up on my Explore feed all the time. <laughs> I'm kind of sold. They're so cute. They're just meant for each other. Like that show's like made for them. Because mm -hmm. like you can tell they're like 
uh, like awkward little ducklings and they would never really meet in person. And like, I'm so moved past culturally I that know. moment, but thank you for bringing it back up. Speaking but I just of, had to make that point. Dating shows, you don't watch it, so I'm not going to bore you with Love it. I'll, I'll speak about it on Friday, but I watched The Bachelor. Oh, The Bachelor. Finale. Are you mad? I don't watch it, but I, I've been following with you. I'm shocked, confused. I'm scared. I'm sad. I'm uh, c confused. I'm confused. Also, the hottest one to date. Hottest bachelor oh, Joey, had to date. My my panties are wet. <laughs> I'm hiding a half chub just talking about it. He's so... Oh, my God. And, you know, I'll, I'll explain my thoughts on that on Friday. I want more people to be able to see it. But they, they also announced the new Bachelorette. Oh, okay. Who and is it going to be? Oh, it's not who you thought it was going to be? No. I don't even remember. She's a nothing burger from the season. Uh, I know you said it was going to be some lady, but I can't remember. You I wanted like, I it hope to be Maria. Maria. Yeah. It, it's very shocking. But anyways. Well, um, I have to share this clip with you because um, now that you said your panties are wet. So, okay. you know, of course, I reference everything to Wendy Williams. Oh, God. Okay. And she was on a clip. She was like recording something. And then she made this comment. And I say it into the mic. I am. I am. I am. I am. My panties drop. <laughs> no. Well, you got to hear it from the beginning. I started to feel my panties drop. <laughs> That's literally me. That's me she, pressing play on Hulu.com. <laughs> she's talking about um, Larry David, which I don't know if you know who he is. I don't but know anyway, is, but he sounds ugly. An older man from. Um, is he hot? From that show, Curb Your Enthusiasm. You oh, probably, <laughs> yeah. The guy that looks like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> yes. He's not hot He's by so any means. Funny. But speaking of hot older men, uh oh, the person who won the Bachelorette or like ended up together, her father can call me. He's very hot. <laughs> That's what I'll say. He is a silver fox, like ex marine man. Oh, and he can okay. bend me over any day. Okay, fun. I just wanted um, to throw that out there. Since we're on the topic of American Idol. Oh, I thought you were just going to say bending over. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> since we're on the topic of Actually, no. On the topic of The Bachelor. Um, well, are we talking about The American Idol? Or are we no, about the, the Bachelor? Bachelor. I meant to say, since we're on the topic of The Bachelor, um, one of the guys, one of the bachelors, one of the former bachelors, his daughter went to American Idol, and I'm pretty sure they only passed her because she was his daughter. Wait, that's how old is this bitch? She's like 14. And her dad was on The Bachelor? Yeah. He's um, the Spanish guy. I forgot his name. but oh, wow. And you can tell me his name later. But yeah, she was on The Bachelor. I mean, on the American Idol. Cannot sing. Sorry. <laughs> like, could not sing. But they brought the dad out and they're like, oh, it's the former Bachelor. Because oh, uh -huh. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he's on ABC, obviously. And American Idol's on ABC. Oh, So it was yeah, like kind of a like setup. a setup, blah, blah, blah. They wanted, you know, so ratings. She she didn't she didn't deserve to go to Hollywood. She took someone's spot. Mm -hmm. Sorry, hot take. Sorry if you have any fans out there that like this girl. My friend's on American Idol this season. She's <laughs> got a she's got three yeses to go to Hollywood. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Are you staying tuned? May I know her name? She, they didn't film her. They didn't uh, show her audition yet. Like she hasn't met on the TV yet. But, oh, OK, so, we'll so keep hopefully watching. she'll be on. Yeah, soon. I didn't ah. sister. Oh, yeah. Wow. Anyways, um, congrats to her. Now that we're an hour into the episode, <laughs> do we want to get to totally random? Well, we've been speaking totally random stuff. We have been speaking totally random shit, but we, we, we've got, you know, some totally random thoughts that well, have been on our minds lately that we want to talk about. And I've had this one since probably minute one that I left your house the last time I was here. Okay, great. And I'm sure it's the only one that you've written down. Well, no, I have a few, but this one's actually deep. So I don't know how deep we can go on this. Well, we're talking about people jumping off bridges, cancer. So <laughs> well, I don't know how much you know about this, but I'm what gonna, you know I mean, about me. Well, what you know no. about me? <laughs> what you know about me? Well, what you, did, oh, did P. Ma. Diddy produce that? Lil Ma? Probably. Because if so, I'll be so sad. Little Mama? I think he might have. <sighs> Please not. He That's mom. okay. So it's, you know, it goes up there with like Kanye, R. Kelly. Uh, um, uh, yeah, R. Kelly is the one that did catch up. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're taking away all the good music. Yeah. Like, P. Diddy, do you have some good songs? Did he produce Me and You by Cassie? It's me. Yeah, and he you. did. He did that nah, for sure. No, nah. but we got still got to support Cassie. So we got to listen, but we don't want to support him. It, it's tricky. I'm trying to figure out who wrote it, but I can't. It's not. Anyways, it's not really give me your totally random thought that you wrote down the last time you last year. Oh, okay. So how much do you know about, we joke, of, well, people joke about, it. I don't know if you even know who what this is, but have you heard of Shen Yun? You've seen the ads. It's those. those oh, and it's a cult. Yes. 
Did you yes. find that out? I saw that on TikTok, yes. And but you know, of course it's like it's like a Chinese dance Broadway show. Right. And then someone came out and was like, no, it's literally a cult. It's Do like, not go to the show. Right. The show is like a ploy to get you to like partake in their um, It's like Scientology kind of. Yeah. It's like they reel reel you in with this. Which why I've always wondered. I'm like, how do they have these commercials? And they're always like, I had a great time watching Shenzhen <laughs> of like, and it'll be like reporter from Channel Five News uh -huh. or something like that, or like random doctor from <laughs> Beverly Hills Eye Doctor or something like that went to the show, and that's the commercial. What? So what is the cult that they like? What do they think you're wrapping oh, well, into? I'm so glad you asked. Let me tell you. I can't wait to be educated. So um, the Shenzhen Shenzhen people believe. Um, so the guy that started it, mm -hmm. he wanted to show China pre-communism or pre pre what it is now, right? But it's like very like weird what they believe and stuff, mm -hmm. but like very, very true to like who they are. But like, obviously- But, but like, is, is that true? Like, is that what traditional Chinese culture actually is? Or like he is telling people that and he's, it's, it's actually it's, crazy. It's very radical. So it's like, right. they don't believe in like same sex marriages or like- same sex or like same sex couple. Why well, gotta be gay? Uh, yeah, or they don't believe me. Or like it. you know, the men and women like have a purpose. Like women are at home and the men are working. Kind of sounds like, like Mormonism. Well, yes, it's a little. <laughs> it's a very. It's a little. It sounds very familiar. <laughs> but they actually have a. Um, the crazy about a bar about it is they have a center in New York in like rural New York, like I'm talking like Buffalo or like out there in the woods, they have a full- Buffalo is not out in the woods. Isn't Buffalo out there? I think it's like North, but I don't think it's like uh, the boondocks. <laughs> I think my aunt's from Buffalo. I don't know, but you know what I mean. She's probably part of this cult, who it, knows? Literally, so it is, it's called the Falun Gong and that's the religious movement. And it was founded by its leader, Li Hongji in China. Wow, I said that really. I'm like, are you just using this as an excuse to show your Chinese <laughs> accent or? And they have global headquarters. It's called Dragon Springs and it's in Deer Park, New York. And it's like a full but on like, like, but like what is like, so like you sign up and then you're part of a cult. Like, is it like Scientology and then you can't get out? Like, are they sex trafficking? Are they human trafficking? Like, what is the reason? Because if it's just an organization that, you know, throws up on a play and they believe in traditional values, that's literally every religion. Right. So why are people so pressed? So it's based on the teachings of its uh, founder and leader, this person, blah, blah, blah. It's uh, they believe uh, that he is a godlike figure who can levitate, walk through walls and see into the future. OK, so his, it's a call. Yeah. His ultra conservative and contra controversial teachings include a rejection of modern science, art and medicine. They're like the Amish. Yeah. Art and medicine and a denunciation of homosexuality, feminism and general worldliness. And so then the people come, they go thinking they're going to go to this like holistic like retreat experience and then they're bamboozled. And then now they're part of this it's like Scientology. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like a Scientology mixed with the Amish. It's a lot of things, but it's scary. And I'm just saying that based off my very small knowledge, maybe Amish people have nothing to do with that. Don't, I think, don't I think, attack me. I think the, yeah, I don't know about the Amish. Um, but if they're Amish, they're not listening to this, so. Yeah, but it's really crazy because like they, I guess the guy that runs it like isn't, he also like funds this like crazy newspaper that's like very pro, pro Trump. And like they fund, I've seen that. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like they do a lot of crazy stuff. But the thing that got me is that they have a freaking estate in New York, like a full on. Well, like, they do like Broadway performances, right? Well, and then that yeah, they so they use that place in Deer Park, whatever Dragon Springs, to train these kids to like be the performers on this stage show. And people have like you can't even record. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to record the stage. Like if you go to a well, like because they reject Shenzhen, technology. <laughs> Well, they just don't want you releasing what what they're actually showing mm -hmm. you. It's so crazy. And then like they'll they'll have like well, actually, they'll have like leak things, but it's like you can tell like they I don't think you're supposed to record any Broadway show you go to. Sure, but you can I mean, you're not going to Chicago and thinking you're getting, you know, like <laughs> bamboozled sudden, into like you're in a cult. Yeah, exactly. Um, which by the way, I really want to go see Chicago. You don't you're with Ariana Maddox. You're not really a musical person. What do you either? mean? It's a musical. Well, Alibaba <laughs> had them forty. Right. Thief Sherazad had a thousand sales. A lot of you already. If I hear this jingle one sleep. more time, you got a brand of magic never fails. But anyway, um, I'm a musical. What do you mean? It's high in school musical. <laughs> I'm the most musical bitch you've ever met. I think it's still on at the Pantages. 
Yeah, but I want to see the one with, with Ariana Maddox. And we'll see. That's the thing. I don't in care. New I just want to see. <laughs> in New York. I think he produced that too. Please, no. <laughs> no, I don't think he did. No, and just stay away from Jay-Z. Don't, in, don't include Beyonce in any of these theories. Yeah. yeah I don't no, want to hear it. I don't know. Anyways, happening. speaking of Helen Keller. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Helen, I, I have Kellen. put her to bed. Well, arise, Helen. Okay, come arise. on. What are we learning now? I'm just. Um, I saw this TikTok of this girl who's deaf, and her TikTok is all about you know just like teaching people sign languages oh, cool. and like yeah whatever. But you know how like some deaf people can like even though they're like fully deaf they can like talk like they can you know yeah. some words or they have some form of communication like mm -hmm. other than sign right. Deaf people have accents. Oh, do they? Like, if you are, if you grew up in the UK, yeah, and like your family has an accent, right, and you're deaf, even if you can't hear them, and then they teach you like to talk, yeah, you have a British accent. That's crazy. Accents are the craziest. Accents are wild. Ever remember we talked about this with the head bump? And you can wake up as a. I was just British woman. Charlie K. Piper chat. <laughs> like. I don't understand accents even to people that can hear. Like, right. I, I don't get it. Right. But so when I saw this deaf woman who was signing and she had an accent, yeah. people in the comments were like, how the F do you have an accent if you're deaf? And her, I think it's her mom who like is in her videos with her, like explained because accents and obviously the way you talk and like how deaf people learn how to speak is like the, sh like they Movements. learn the, the shape of the mouth. And like, uh, so they like, you know, figure out how you put your tongue and yeah. whatever. And so if a British person is teaching you how to speak, then you're going to sound British because right. that's how you get the accent because it's the way that you're shaping everything. You're moving your mouth, right. Which is just crazy to me. Not so similar, but similar. Did so did Helen Keller have a Southern draw? <laughs> she didn't speak. I think she gave a little... Nope. Isn't there? Wait. There's audio of her, but she's not really speaking. Or is that AI? No. Because there are like AI audio recordings of Helen Keller singing like Taylor Swift songs <laughs> no. on TikTok. And honestly, <laughs> you guys think I'm bad. Those people deserve jail. No, they deserve. The FBI needs to raise their 5150. That's not fair. People, tyrants, you guys are sick and twisted just like me. Because <laughs> the amount of tyrants who sent me Helen Keller singing like <laughs> Texas Oldham by Beyonce no. and it's AI. And I will not because I will not get canceled. I, you can cancel me for the Kate Middleton rant, but you cannot cancel me for that because I will not reenact <laughs> yeah. what it sounds like. But I swear there's like video or audio yeah, of her there talking. Yeah, audio, but it's not, she's not really talking. I think she's like, uh, like, uh -huh. there's yeah, like, stop all your head. Yeah. Anyways, but not similar, but similar. Wait, I have to tell you my experience with accents. Okay, but can I finish Helen? Oh, please, please, please. The tyrants keep s sending me this video of this Helen Keller Barbie. It's <laughs> and I need it. I need someone to find it immediately. If Tyrant, if you ever see it in stores or on eBay, send me a link. I need to purchase it immediately. There's a Helen Keller Barbie, the back of it's in Braille, and I want it. Oh, I see it. Let me She's see. only $40. Wait, where? On eBay. Oh, my God. I'm buying it. Oh! <laughs> I'm obsessed. I don't I'm think that's it. what she looked it's like. Literally, of course not. It's a Barbie from 1940. They all look the same. No, it, I don't, I mean, yes, but I don't think that that's what she looked like. No, look, they have the photo of her next to her. That's a photo of Helen. Wow. That's like the famous photo, which is honestly is a gorgeous photo. Looks like it was edited in the Tezza app. <laughs> <laughs> Not her holding a book of Braille. Well, that's cool. What does it say, Barbie? C couldn't they put her on an airplane? Didn't she fly an airplane? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get two Give of them and make them be yeah. lesbian. <laughs> get her a Barbie plane. The big, you remember the big pink Barbie plane? Uh-huh. Yeah, get her one of those. Um... Also speaking of Helen. Okay. Well, this is more in a general situation. I'm really This is a pause. This is a pause for Helen, I guess. No. <laughs> yeah, a moment of silence for Helen. <laughs> yeah. No, but okay. So you like, do you feel like you have an inner monologue in your mind? Like when you're not thinking you're reading a book, like can you hear yourself read it? Even Sometimes. You're not speaking? Yeah. It's like if dead people have never heard anything, do they have an inner monologue? And like if they do, it's like what language is that in? <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like if they're reading a book, because right. like obviously they can read. Right. It, do they have like, you know what I mean? Like formulate like, what they think. It, the like in my thoughts, like, like I'm like speaking in my thoughts. But if you don't know what words sound like, then do you have like sound to your thoughts? Yeah. Or no, because you've never heard what sounds sound like. 
That's true. I don't know. I don't know because I've, I've... And I guess how would you know? Like, how would yeah, you ask? It's like yet to experience. And yeah, how do you ask? Because you can't ask. They're like, what are you talking about? Yeah, because they have nothing to compare it to. Right. Unless... No, because then it's like if you if you became deaf later in life, then it's like you would know what words sound like. So then you could think that. Right. It's very interesting. The um, mind is just a wild thing. Anyways, give me your accent rant. <laughs> it's not really. We got to move on from the deaf people. We're no, going to no, no, we're no, going to get canceled. No, but you were talking about accents and similar, but not. I, I've been watching like random like um, people talking Spanish and on TikTok because I get fed Spanish. Because you're trying sometimes. to learn. No. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to learn. I get uh, fed Spanish TikTok videos. And people in the in Australia that speak Spanish, they have Australian accents. No, in Spanish. No, which is wild because I'm like, wait, like okay, they're wait. like Salvadoran people. So, well, I'm Salvadorian. Yeah, I speak no, Spanish. I'm aware. I speak Spanish. Kind of. I think I sound like a Salvadorian person. But if I hear someone in Australia, they have a Salvadorian. They can speak Salvadorian, but they sound well, Australian. They're not speaking Salvadorian. They're speaking Spanish. Yeah, they're speaking Spanish. In but sound with an Australian so, okay, dialect. So, so I'm just going to need you to, to, to enact that for me. Like how do an Australian accent while speaking Spanish? Yeah, but I can't because I've never like, I can barely do an uh, Spanish. I can barely do yeah, it. I know you can barely speak Spanish. No. You admitted it. No, I can speak Spanish. Okay, so like, hola, como estas? Like that's how uh, an American. Like, hola, como estas? So then how do you say, Hola, como estas? How do you like, speak in an Australian accent? What is an Australian accent? I date an Australian. I need, I can't even <laughs> think about it. Like, cl climbing <laughs> or crikey. Wait. Put how, some ribbons in the bar, babe. How do they speak? Like, all I can, all I can hear is nar. Yeah, right? That's all you hear. Glory nar. <laughs> okay, so, hello. Condensation. Hello. How are you? Oh, that was kind of good. Well, that's British. Hey, how are you? It's Australian. No. I think that's British. Hey, how are you? Yeah, see, but I look, they just so, sound like that. Hello, come on, stars. I mean, literally. Interesting. Um, Australians. I know I've got some Australian tyrants. Send me a voice memo talking in Spanish. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Say, yeah, hola, como estas? Right. But with your accent, I want to hear it. A dial uh, yeah, accent or dialect, whatever it's called. Well, no, it would be an accent, but a dialect is when like the words are actually different. True. I think. I'm so educated. It's like uh. crazy. <laughs> Anyways, so you know when you get dressed for the day. Uh-huh. And you choose this sad outfit. Uh-huh. This sad outfit. You never think. I might I might just like blow your brains uh -huh. right now. And also, saying this fact while dressed like this, I'm also aware that the pot calling the kettle black. Okay. Is that the saying? Yes. So. Are you about to read me in my clothes? No. Oh, I'm okay. reading me as well. I mean, hello, I look like a <laughs> idiot right now. I don't even know what I'm wearing. But I had to wear a long sleeve shirt because my face doesn't match my arms. Um, so. What's new? So, <laughs> do you believe in ghosts? Ish, yeah. I think they're, they exist. Like, when you die, do you think you're going to become a ghost? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> because guess what? Every time you leave the house, su casa, you casa, mi casa, every time you leave your casa. It could be your. It could be the outfit that you are going to be in for time and all eternity, <laughs> yeah. roaming the streets, haunting my ass. So remember that next time you put on a ugly ass outfit because the Grim um, Reaper is here. The literally, grim, the, the grim, grim Reaper is outside. <laughs> he was not liking the way I was speaking to you. Let me rephrase that. When you leave your humble home. Yes. And you come to see your lovely friend. Yes. Um... It could be your last outfit. It could. Because if you die a ghost, I don't think ghosts can change their clothes. Have you been watching that show, Ghosts? No. But I'm mortified. If I go out to run a quick little errand and I'm wearing <laughs> Givenchy slides and a <laughs> little singlet tank top and my hair's not done and then I die and then I'm stuck that way forever, that's so scary. So we got to leave the house. Every time you leave the house, you got to think to yourself, it's if I die, am I going to want to be stuck in this outfit forever? Wow. Or if you're in an outfit that's a little too uh, like uncomfy, but you're like, whatever, it's fine. I'm only <laughs> going to be gone at this event for an hour. Time and all eternity. You're stuck in that outfit. You're Just crazy. something to think about. Just something to think about. Also, you're very morbid these days. Today. This, today. There's a lot of morbid stuff happening. I know. It's a dark world, but think how do we it. handle it? Humor. I feel like you can go to like the ghost store and buy new clothes. Like, I feel I mean, like you can like. I'm that's sure, called like, hell. <laughs> I'm sure like, I'm sure that if I was a ghost, I could like change my clothing. 
I think of myself as a ghost, like like. Or would Casper. you just walk around naked, like woo? I would be, like, yeah, exactly. Or be like Casper, like just kind of like a floating bubble. I don't want to be a floating bubble. I want to wear like I would rob Gucci. I'd rob the ghost Gucci. <laughs> the ghost Gucci. I'm like what is the afterworld? Oh, it's gonna be so scary. I know. I don't want to know. I, I hope told it, you. I actually don't care. I don't want to know. I hope there's nothing. I don't want to know. I'm tired. When I go, just take me. I want to be in peace. Take me home. Country road. <laughs> oh my gosh! Doesn't Lana Del racing that? I can't wait to see her. I think she might have did a cover she of it. Cover. I'm gonna be in the field with the flower crown, vibing. Oh my god! I hope you do wear a flower crown. I'm not wearing flower crown, but I can say I'm gonna wear something similar. Okay. That Lana Del Rey also wears. Oh. Okay. I'll give you two guesses. I know what it is. That spike thing. No. The Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> I didn't mean that to do that. The Dia de los Muertos headpiece. No. No. Okay. You'll just have to wait and see. All right. Can't wait. A, What's I your next totally random wait. thought? Well, not a random thought. Can't wait for this Friday. And so we're thinking about Country Road. Miss Beyonce. Oh. <sighs> this ain't Texas. I can't wait. I hear it on the radio now and I'm like, I'm happy. I'm actually happy that it's on the radio. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I'm glad it. it's a banger. No, yeah. you don't really hear Renaissance on the radio. No, Break My Soul was on the radio for a while. Oh, Break My Soul and like, the other You're and, the only uh, person in America that still listens to the radio. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I just opened my phone and Helen Keller was staring right at me. Helen, we love you. <laughs> we miss you. Um, speaking of uh, Beyonce and Country Cowboy, Cowboy, Cowboy Carter. Sorry, Carter excuse Cal. me. I'm just disrespect. For the Patreon, I think I'm going to do a live, like, I'm going to I'm gonna listen to it live, film it, and then put, post it on the Patreon. So stay wow. tuned. If you guys want to listen along with me. That'll be coming soon. Stay tuned. Yeah, you'll have to post the deets soon on how I can sign up for this Patreon. I will. I will let you know. But let me know your total, next totally random thought. Well, since we're on the topic of Australia, <laughs> <laughs> and since we've been on Australia. Um, Psych me down under. No, did you? There you go. That's the accent. How do you say that in Spanish? Psych me down under. Hola, <laughs> como estas? Can you imagine? No, Would that freak guess you what? out? No, that would be the most annoying thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> right. Australians already are pushing it. Right. Some of them, stunning, sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them, oh my God, so annoying. Same with British accent. Yeah, British Some accent. Some of them are so classy, so gorgeous. Yeah. Some of them are, can't buy a yeah. like, oh my God, whoa. <laughs> like the Essex, I don't know yeah. what that's a neighborhood or what, but it was, there was a show that I watched one time and I was just like, oh my gosh, just like nails on a chalkboard. Yeah. But I mean, Americans are the same way. Sure. I'm sure people literally think that about my voice. A hundred percent. But anyway, what we you're were supposed to say, no, 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 my knee is broken. So continue. <laughs> oh my gosh, my legs. I can't do you know, them. do you know how to say how you can say, oh no, the right way in Australian? R and R. It's R and R. Just say the R and R. R and R. R and R. R and R. I'm a god. R and R. How's I? The condensation. So now he that sounded very Irish just there. Anyway, oh my god. While we're ranting about these accents, let me go back to Australia for a second. Let's get on our plane. Get back R &R. Down to Australia. Did you don't know? even get me started with planes these days i know i'm very scared for any flight these days boeing 527 or whatever 737 max and guess what the boeing ceo just stepped down i know what is happening what is happening united airlines had like seven planes this week that had some sort of error. that's wild i'm just saying i ain't flying anytime soon anyways take us back to down under okay so we took our right alligator now landing australia okay we're back in australia Let's say we're taking a vacation in Australia. No, actually, we can't. It wouldn't oh be God. for us. Okay. It wouldn't be for us. But Why wouldn't it be for us? But this doesn't pertain to us. Oh, my God. Okay. So let's say with you're staying at a, with your friend's place in Australia, and he wants to treat you to a dinner, and he's like, well, I don't... sounds like my boyfriend, not well, my yeah, friend. Right, right, right. And he doesn't have a credit card, so he goes, let me go to the bank and get some money out. Do you know that when he goes to the bank to get money out, he has to tell the bank teller why he's withdrawing money from his own bank account? Like just in Australia? In Australia. So every time you go to an Australian bank, but I actually read that in a lot, of, a lot of other countries do the same thing. But if you go to the bank and let's say you want to withdraw $1,000 to pay your rent or whatever, and you're like, okay, I'm here to withdraw money. They, you have to give them a reason why and they write it down, put it in a note. Isn't that crazy? Imagine why? you going to the bank and having Well, like one, why is it that big of a deal? It's like, just tell them. Oh, uh, no, but why should I tell you what I'm doing with my money? Also, what if I don't need it for anything? I just want cash. Well, that's the thing. 
It's like, why am I having to explain to you why I'm withdrawing money? Like, Communism. Like, people have been, like, jokingly being like, oh, like, I want to go buy a dildo and, like, you know. Right, <laughs> yeah, right. Like, like, yeah, like a, a prostitute. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you possibly? Uh, yeah, Australian bank laws is wild. But anyway. How did you learn this information? And why are you bringing it to um, me, the tyrant? Clearly, I'm on. You're on uh, Australian talk. Yeah, that's where I'm at, apparently. Um, the, I don't know why. The Australian Spaniards. Yeah, I don't know why I have to, though. I mean, why I was there, but. Yeah, it's crazy. What are your thoughts on that? Do you have any thoughts? Do you I care? don't you, really care. I think you would be such a Karen at that point. Well, yeah, of course. Like, no, but you can't call me that because Millie Bobby Brown's getting canceled now about that because oh. she called herself a Karen. Did you see that? No. Millie Bobby Brown was like in this interview with someone, which her accent is one that pisses me off. <laughs> she sounds like she's turning up. Like a too, she tries hard. Too hard. Yeah. Um, but... She did this interview, and it was like during this podcast, and she was saying that she leaves negative reviews on places, like if they it, if they if they deserve it. Yeah. But she was like, my whole life is critiqued, and like everyone judges me for everything. So like, yeah, if I go to a restaurant and like they do something bad, like I'm leaving a negative review. Fair. Like I'm a Karen, and I like am you know admitting it. Fair. And people are not happy with her. People are like, you entitled little bitch. Like people, you're living in this. $10 million house and you're so privileged and you've been yeah. working and a millionaire since you were 11 years old. And then you go to someone's freaking restaurant who is probably like a mom pop shop and is literally like a 17 year old who's just trying to pay for their car or their college tuition. Yeah. And you're like ne- leaving negative reviews. Like, yeah, but I don't know. I see both sides because I too, you, you know, can totally. be a Karen, but I've never once in my entire life left a negative review. I will never do that. People that log in to a service and right. leave a negative review Scum of the earth. Well, that's too hard, too much hard work for you. <laughs> You're, you've already moved on. Anyways. But um, no, but yeah. So you're at the bank. I, I just like don't really like. They're not letting you take out money. You would. You well, would they would let it. you take it out. You but, would be so mad. Because I would just tell them. I'd be like, I don't know. I need a facelift. Like, <laughs> give me the damn cash. But I wonder if you have to show like justification or if it's just like uh, just telling them. But also maybe that's like good because then it like stops like, you know, fraud. Which I've been a victim of. <laughs> so um, I wish they would have asked, asked that person, well, why you know are you what? accessing these points? <laughs> because then maybe they would have caught the fraudster the third time you tried to get into my account. That's wild. Anyways. Anyway, um, that was my thing about the Australian banks. I guess it wasn't that exciting. I thought no, it was. was exciting. I'm so glad. <laughs> You're so glad. For the information. Um, now, no, 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 no. This might, this next totally random thought might hit me a little harder than it's hitting you. Oh, okay. But... You might be affected more, by default. You, by you, you might actually like feel more connection to it because oh. of your age. Okay. That always goes back to my age. Always goes back to the age. So it's all let me let me back. set the scene. The year is 2024. Okay. So modern day. What was 20 years ago? 2004. Well, yeah. 2000s. Yeah. The 2000s. 20 years ago yes. was the 2000s. Yes. So now, for us, in the t- current time, we look back at the 2000s. As when we were in the 2000s, we looked back to the 80s. Yeah. Let me, let me set the scene of music for that. The, the Billboard Hot 100 for the year 1980, which I think 80s is like, Decades ago for you. Helen Keller yeah. was uh, like in a car with George Washington sure. in 1980. Sure. The number one songs, Call Me by Blondie. Okay. Call me, call yeah. me. Ah. Um, Rock With You, Michael Jackson. Yes. Um, Funky Town. Uh-huh. Funky Town. Um, Little Genie, Elton John. Okay. Upside Down, Diana Ross. Okay. Those, those are the vibes. Okay. So I'm thinking, whoa, old ass fart. Like, my mom listened to that music. That's so old. Yeah. And I remember, like, you know, my mom taking me to school and she'd play Blondie and I'd be like, oh my God, my mom's like old tunes. Like, she's <laughs> stuck in the olden ages. Can't, yeah. can't let it go. Get with the times. Like, yeah. well, that's not what we're listening to these days. The songs that are now to us what the 80s were uh, yeah. to them. Okay. Tell us. Are you reading the 2004 list to be precise? 2000. Okay, 2000. Breathe by Faith Hill. Just breathe. I love that song. <sighs> this one really hurts. <laughs> I'm sick. 
I'm sick okay. that this is now considered like the 80s music. Say My Name by Destiny's Child. <laughs> You're telling me that Say My Name, Say My Name mm -hmm. is the same mm -hmm. as Call Me, Call Me. Huh? That's so crazy. Like kids now, their moms are taking them to school and they're singing Say My Name, Say My Name. And they're like, Mom. Get this crap off the radio. <laughs> like, can you play Olivia Rodrigo? Right. That's crazy. They think Destiny's Child is like what I thought Blondie was. I guess that would be me if I had children. Like, I guess I would feel so old because I listen to like old music. How old but were like, you in 1980? In the 80s. I wasn't born in the 80s. I was born in 85. Okay, well, so you were born in the 80s. Yeah, 85. Okay. But like 2000. Fun fact, say my name, Destiny's Child. We had it. We went to Sam Goody down the street from us and bought the CD version of it when it released. And we would play it in my car, in my parents' car, along with Shaggy. Um, it wasn't me. Remember Shaggy? It wasn't me. I swear that was probably on there. Yeah, of course. What else was on here? He Wasn't Man Enough by Tony Braxton. Of course. Try Again by Alaya, Aaliyah, Aaliyah. whatever. Music by Madonna, doesn't really matter. Janet Jackson, "What a Girl Wants" by Christina Aguilera. What a girl? Yeah, we had like we had all those CDs. My mom would take bye, us. Bye 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 by NSYNC. Yeah, my that mom is like the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would take us to Sam Goody or like I forgot the. It's record gonna store. be me. Yeah, NSYNC. and we'd buy albums and we listen to them in the car. And we used to have, you don't have a CD case. No, yeah, I grew up with a CD case. Yeah. And like a DVD player that yeah. was like in a full like yeah. system a that had like a, well, and it, we had the one that was like, it, it, it kept all of them in the system. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You rotate the And then the you one rotate, you you'd have to know the number, but it's like you never knew the number. <laughs> yeah. So you're like 300, 200. I just can't, the fact that that was like, people better put some respect on Beyonce's name. Beyonce has been on the charts for over 20 years. Right. Say My Name? That wasn't even like their first album, was it? Yeah. Uh, yes. I think it, it was? It was their first album. Yeah. Like, that is just crazy. I'm blown away. But, but Lady Gaga has 20 years since Poker Face. No. Yes. I think it's like, it's, I think it's exactly 20 years today. I'm sick. Or like, like, um. Do you like, think that Beyonce is going to. Um, put Telephone Part 2 on this album. Uh, could be fun to hear it in the country twang. There's speculation, but... Could it be Could be interesting, you know, to... You don't seem very interested in it. <laughs> no, I am. I'm trying to find out the lady... Yeah, I'm trying to find out if Lady Gaga Poker Face came out in 20 years ago, but I'm... No, I would be... I think... What, do you, what are your predictions? Who do you think is going to be on this album? So the only reason I see that happening is because the whole, like, Telephone music video is like them in a car and like a diner and then they like go on a getaway car in the desert yeah. and they're like in that car. And then the Texas Hold'em preview Starts is like that. in the yeah. car, in the desert, on a, you know, whatever. And then Lady Gaga posted the other day, like just like a faraway shot. Like she's been like working on new music and she posted like a faraway shot of her bed and like her piano and like next to the piano was a, like a coloring book and the cover of it was The Fame, which is the album that the telephone is on. And then... Beyonce's hairstylist assistant who like worked on that shoot or whatever just uh -huh. posted a screenshot of Lady Gaga on his Instagram story yesterday. Oh. So I don't know. I don't think it's gonna happen, but like there's enough speculation where I'm sat. Oh okay. I would die. I mean, it's it'd be so interesting to hear in like a country version. I mean, she can, I mean, we know, um, I mean, Gaga obviously can be country. She did the whole Joanne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know um, Gaga's like so kind of ahead of her time, always. So, um, because like she did country way before like pop girls going country was cool. Like everyone hated Joanne. Yeah. And now it's like, that's the vibe. Right. Um, but my friend who's in the music industry who like mm -hmm. does songwriting or whatever that, you know, um, he said that everyone's inspo coming into like songwriting sessions and producing sessions yeah. right now is the fame Lady Gaga or, uh, born this way. Wow. Like all the all the up and coming pop girlies, like Olivia Rodrigo and Tate McRae or whatever, like they all want like that, like rocker kind of grunge, yeah. but pop, like that synthy grunge. I'm like, wow, Gaga really is just the moment. And if we start getting more Gagas out there, I mean, pause up. Pause Let's go. up. Anyways, claws what's your next? Up. Claws up. What's your next totally random thought? 2008. That's when it came out. Lady Gaga. That's almost 20 That years makes me ago. feel better. Yeah. It's four years left, but yes. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Still. So. 
I mean, 16 years and 20 years is a big difference. I mean, especially with the that's law. That's like counting to four. What did I tell I you? I mean, like counting. Tell that to a judge. <laughs> yeah. 16 and 20 is a big difference. <laughs> Anyways, what's your next totally random thought? Um, well, I think I'm complete. Are the, you? Well, actually, you know what? I did have one. It's more not necessarily a random thought. Just a rant. Please. I want to rant about leaf blowers. Oh, my God. Do you hate leaf blowers just as much as I do? No, but like, do you just sit in bed and like think about leaf blowers? Like, how does this enter your your <laughs> if, if field of view? How does this enter your mind? Well, I haven't thing. thought about a leaf blower. What? In my entire life. Well, because I see people using leaf blowers. Where? So the, do you live in Wisteria Lane? No, like, like in outside in the gardeners, gardening outside, the where, leaf blower. Girl, and you like, don't live in the freaking flats of Beverly Hills. No, Your but, neighbors do not have gardens that I, they're leaf blowing. Hey, I've seen a leaf blower. They might be getting <laughs> dust out of their attic or something. Well, that's my point. This is my point I was going to make about leaf blowers. So when someone uses a leaf blower, all you're doing is blowing dust from one side to the next. Yeah, but I don't want it on my side. I want it on your side. I know, but that's not, like, what? Are, like, what's the purpose? And not only that. No, that's just, the purpose, to get the dust away from me. They're wasting gas. They're, the gas? Gas? Yeah, they're propelled <laughs> by something. This is 1920. They're not gas powered. You plug I it into the wall. So. No, I think they're gas powered. Are they not? Jocelyn, host Peter Cuervo, <laughs> I promise you, they are electric. And some of them, most of them, are cordless. I, no, I know all of so them are, but like they have gas. No, 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 no. Okay, this isn't literally, this, <laughs> I isn't, don't know. this isn't 1997 and you have to put gas in your lawnmower. You plug it in. I guess that's true. Either I mean, way. maybe your neighbor's is gas powered. I don't know. <laughs> All I'm saying is leaf blowers, really, the only purpose they serve is to blow dust from one side to the next. Great. Job completed. That's literally what it's called. Leaf blower. What does it do? Blow leaves. Yeah, but where are they blowing the leaves to? Off of their property and into the gutter. Like, that's not cool. Yeah, because then street cleaning comes and then they clean the street. No. <laughs> Have you seen our gutters? That's what we flood half the time. It rains here. No, my because street he's... cleaner comes every week on I the I know, but the gutters are flooded. With trash. Okay, well, I don't go down there where the rats live like you do. <laughs> I should go visit my people. I just think leaf blowers are actually like archaic and should not exist. I don't understand the purpose okay, well, how of do you a leaf suggest, blower. How do you suggest getting rid of Sweeping the leaves? It. That's archaic. <laughs> he wants us to go back to 1764. Sweep your area. I think it's just so or just blow it. I think it's well, so okay, okay, polite okay, to okay, just blow okay, it. Okay, so what's your what's the difference between sweeping the leaves away? You pick it up in a no, dust with a dust no, pan. One picks them up. You sweep your driveway into the gutter. No, no you, one's picking it up after themselves. Uh, uh have you been to the Mall of America? Hello. <laughs> You should pick up after yourself is what I'm saying. Okay. I think that's the reason why I don't understand leaf blowers. Because okay. all you're doing is blowing dust from one side to the next. And that's not fair. And not only that, then I have to cover myself when you're walking by you or running past you because you're about to blow dust into my face. And now I have to worry about all the toxins I'm going to breathe in. And I don't even know what's in this dust. Oh, my God. Do you hear that? <laughs> it's the world's smallest violin. Shut up. You've ranted about worse things. I but, wish you would hear a leaf blower every morning outside your your door. You would knock. So you don't hard. even want to know what the f I hear. You, out would, of these you would hear. You would knock so hard and be like, "Turn that shit they, off." They power wash the sidewalk out here at three in the morning, <laughs> so I don't want to hear it. Would you be yeah. once a week? I wake up at three a.m. and I'm like, "What is that god awful sound outside of my window?" And I look, and there is someone with a power hose. Power washing in the streets. And I go, wow, this is amazing. So that, you know, there's not dog poop. There's not whatever. But could we maybe do it at 7 a.m., <laughs> yeah. 8, right. 3 in the morning? Right. Anyways, rainbows. Oh, so we're going to talk about leaf blowers, but now we're going to shift over to rainbows? Because leaf blowers are like, don't even fucking compare my beautiful rainbow to your god awful like hatred <laughs> for something that is actually helping people. Okay. Maybe people, you know, have arthritis and they can't use their sweepers anymore and they need a machine to just blow it. Shut up. So Talk are you saying you're rainbows. ableist? No. Now? Shut up. Tell us about your rainbows. That's what I thought. Anyways, um, no matter how much I learn, you know, in my years of education in the public system of the United States of America, um, no matter how much information, how many TikToks, how many videos, how many people explain to me a rainbow, I will not understand it. Right. What the f*** is it? And why is there a giant bright ass colors in the sky? And why? Mm. how does it make a perfect arch? And how does it get all the colors? Like, if I lived 2,000 years ago and I saw a rainbow in the sky, 
No wonder they believed in leprechauns. No wonder they believed in a freaking <laughs> pot of gold at the end of it. I'd be like, what is this magical sorcery right. in the sky? Like, what is this gorgeous, bright color? Like, if you lived in, like, Arizona and there was, like, no, like, it's, like, desert. Mm -hmm. Nothing. No colors, no flowers, no nothing. And then it rains. And then all of a sudden, there is a giant-ass rainbow arch perfectly symmetrical in the sky. I would literally be like, God, God is real. Right. I'm dying. Heaven. Mm -hmm. Zeus. But it's not just kind of crazy. They're kind of cool. God is just so good, good to us. No, it is crazy. They are cool. Um, isn't it just like the sun reflecting off water? Is like that technically I've what said. It is? No, is that technically what it is? I I forgot. Yes. I mean, I forgot what it I was. I think. All right. But once again, you can explain it to me all you want, but that doesn't mean shit. How come I can hold water, glass of water <laughs> outside of the window on the sun and I don't see a rainbow then? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. No, I know. It's beautiful though. Rainbows are beautiful. And you're right. They do make... Um, sky a little brighter when it's after a day of rain oh my god you're so boring <laughs> anyways um oh, oh my god i cannot wait to talk about this okay we're very like worldly today okay oh my god i should have brought this up when we were speaking about china earlier oh okay how's it been aquarium china okay china 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 <laughs> china how long do you think the great wall of china is you know what that is, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm trying to think of the length of it. I think it doesn't it end in like Mongolia or something like that. I don't know. Okay, I don't. Yeah, it's hundreds of. Not. I don't want to say it's like hundreds of miles. It's not that long. Just give me a guess. I would how say long like you think maybe thirty miles. <laughs> <laughs> the Great Wall of China. No, it's like long, huh? Like two hundred miles. Okay. From here to New York City. Is 3,000 miles, correct? I think so, yeah. Yes, if you drive, it's like 3,000 miles. Okay. The Great Wall of China is 13,000 miles really? long. 13,000. I meant, I meant, I meant 30,000 when I gave a number Yeah, so earlier. 30? Because <laughs> I know people think I'm stupid on this podcast. Let's just talk about that. But I don't know what I would even guess. <laughs> 13,000. Jose. That's that is long. No, that's half the circumference of the world. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, China's so huge too. How? Who? What? When? Where? Why? I, that. Did they build that? Right. And what is actually the Great Wall of China? I know it has like there's forts along the way. Because remember they did a photo shoot on it for American uh, America's Next Top Model. Bye. <laughs> well, so I guess. Okay. So. Okay. Here's the next question. When do you th what year do you think it was built? It's something BC, like back in the days. Yes. Like, I don't know, 50 BC? I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty close. 220 BC. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he wasn't born Wasn't yet. even walking on this earth with the nope. Great Wall of China. Nope. It's like it's way before the, even the pyramids. Right. So we don't know why the pyramids were built. We for sure as hell don't know why that was built. Right. And some say, you know, it was like China protecting itself. But then a lot of people say, and I don't know if this is conspiracy theory or not, this is based off of TikTok. Like <laughs> the way that some of the forts are facing, like they were doing it to keep China in. Oh, like it was like the other people the other empire. Like no one really knows. It was so long ago that it's like up for interpretation. Yeah. You know, climate change. Uh, climate. China, cl climate. <laughs> China claims it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like some people are like, Mm, what's the history there? I mean, how would you know? 220 BC? Yeah. Even if they're like, oh yeah, like we have a history of it. It's like, no one knows. No one knows what they were doing back then. No one knows why it was built. They might have dragons. Who knows? Yeah. Or like Game of Thrones. They could have had zombies. They have zombies in Game of Thrones? Oh, the I've Death never seen Walkers. It? Oh my gosh, the hair in my ear is killing me. I don't, you know, I've never watched Game of Thrones. Um, well, first off, jail. I know. You need to watch it. I need to get to start that again. It's so crazy that you watch all these like deep shows, but you won't watch movies that are like. Two I like hours. movies now. Yeah, I heard. Thank you. I love I'm that. You have watched era. two movies. I'm in my movie era. Yeah. Um. Oh, you know what? I did watch a great movie. What is it? Um. It's so great. You remember the name? Dang, I forgot it. I did watch the gay movie though. Um, that I told you I was gonna watch. It was awkward. I didn't, didn't really care for it. What gay movie? The one that I told you with the one character that's not gay in real life. Sorry, did I take you on a tangent? Were you going to share something? I no. totally forgot. No, was I? And totally forgot about this totally random episode. You totally forgot about this totally random. <laughs> we need to do like a, a song, a jingle for totally random episodes. Yeah, because you stole my jingle for French tips. So thanks no, for didn't. coming to the salon. 
Did you create that? Yes, I did. I don't know if you did. I did when we shared the first French tips. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Um, I, I did a version of it, but okay. Well, why don't you sing a sing it? Sing it. Give us a jingle <laughs> for totally random. This is the totally random episode <laughs> with Josefina Cuervo and Tequila French. Oh, she doesn't have a last name. Oh, Tequila. <laughs> You gotta give it a little I bit could, more yeah, pizzazz. Yeah, I need a little twang. You gotta give it a little pizzazz. I need to hear, I need to be inspired by Beyonce on Friday and then I'll come back with a new one, maybe. Okay. Something a little twangy, a little. Welcome back to Total Random. This I'll is your, This is the totally random time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, kudos to you um, for sitting in a car with me. It for a good hour and a half while I was singing every Casey Musgrave song. Oh, yeah. And then we sung Leon after. Yes, and, we did. Oh, that bitch is just so... Which we found out she's Swedish. Good. It's crazy. I don't need to know her origin, but thank you for filling me in on that. Um, Leon is literally just... Okay, but excuse me, pay and Casey. Casey some respect. No, and Casey, of course. Her new album is beautiful from beginning to end. Uh, you don't have to tell me on I love it. I was also singing... What's the four walls and so much space? <laughs> it's just oh a game, wasn't it, babe? I love that song. Moving That's out. Great. Moving out. Casey Musgraves. Um, what else, Which, what by the way, I have a bone to pick with you. By the way, I've got a bone to pick with you. What? This is totally random. And we're on totally random. <laughs> okay. Totally random. That's no. totally random. <laughs> okay. No. Give me a thought seriously i might have a rant with you okay but is it serious do i need to like no it's not like a serious rant but like okay. a like a kind of serious rant okay i'll put because my, i'll put my serious rant. you promised me and the tyrants a song of the week on tiktok well i don't know and if i, I have I don't yet know if I to hear one I don't for know. four months i don't know if i promised that well, in but my, I said world, I in my I'm mind, on TikTok in a million years. Well, you know what? It gives you an excuse. I will say that's going to be one thing that's fun with the Patreon because I'll be able to do like the live listening videos like um, Beyonce because <laughs> there's no one to copyright me. Right. There are no copyrights. Not me well, just that's admitting that online though. I, th I do think I won't do that. Yeah, but TikTok does kind of suck now because you can't use it. I know. I can't songs. even use anything. So, um, Well, if I had to give a song of the day today, it would be. Okay, see it wouldn't be Keith's face. <laughs> I love her so much, but it would not be. It would be, um, I like the way you miss me. I like me. the way you work it. No diggity. <laughs> Gotta back it up. I bet you Diddy wrote that. No, oh my didn't. God. No, he didn't. No, it's like, I like the way you is it like I like the way you kiss me or I like the way you miss me? I would check on my video, my phone is video recording. It's like I like the way you kiss me. Da, 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 da. It's like a new TikTok song. It's oh. by like Artemis or something. Okay. Oh, I think I know. I've heard it. It's good. It's catchy. Yeah, it's trending. Anyways. Great. Do you want my song of the week? Sure. Is is it, can it be Casey Musgraves? Oh my God, <laughs> sure. Uh, shocker! <laughs> the whole album from beginning to end. Great album. What's your favorite? You gotta give us one. Um, I love Give or Taker. I like moving sing out. Sing me a little bit. <sighs> like, no, I don't want to say, I can't think of it right now at the top of my head, mm -hmm. but I have to like listen to it to like know mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, the Give or Taker was like, and if I gave you everything, um, you need to like have a little bit more confidence when you sing. I know I can. You go like more recluse. You gotta be. Like, I know there's people who give and there's people who take. <laughs> what am I singing? We are the world. <laughs> I don't know. Which, by just, the way, oh, I that's what I'm gonna watch that's a natural song. But <gasps> that documentary. I've been waiting to oh watch it. Oh my god, it. it looks so boring. No, but uh, a whole uh, documentary yeah. about like how they recorded one song. Who cares? The, the song that changed uh, uh, the billboards. I've never even heard it. Oh, of course you haven't. You're from the 2000s. Okay. We are okay, the world. Grandpa. We are, you know, that's a song we had to use to sing in, in like you know what graduation. You know what my generation's version of that is? <laughs> what? Um, the Disney Channel, um, Friends the for Lion Change. King? <laughs> no, no, no. They, they had, um, I think it's called Friends for Change. And like all the Disney Channel cast got together. Yeah. And, and they, they sang, sang the Circle of Life. No. Oh. And they sang like um, an original song to like combat pollution Stop. I don't know what it did, but it was like, what? How did it go? Oh my god, I would play it so much. Wait, but they all—they also sang the Circle of Life. 
the circle of like they have raven they had hillary duff oh well don't even get me started on the a dream is a wish your heart makes. Oh, that's a great one. When you're fast asleep. Oh, Raven gave Disney, that one. Disney okay, Ra- wait. Radio. Friends for change. That's when Disney radio was like a thing. Did you ever listen to Disney radio? Oh radio my god. Disney? Oh my god. Send it on. Send it on. On it on. I can't. Wait. Oh. I don't even know where the speakers are on this. Rumor has it Beyonce word uses as inspiration. Is a word. Still it means what you say. Have you ever heard this? No. Send it on, on and on. Oh, this would play in between like shows, like on commercials. Yeah. Oh, but they got everyone. They got the Spouse Brothers. They got Demi in here. Oh. Wow. Are those the Joe Bros? Oh, so this Look is the Joe Bros league. era. Oh yeah, like Prime Disney. Yeah. Oh, anyways, wow. Selena Gomez is in that. Oh, and yeah. Oh my gosh. Ah. I'm such a boomer. I'm just I like, Selena G- oh, Selena Gomez then. is a. Uh, what do you mean? She's Disney like, kid. Disney yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid. Are you excited for that show to reboot? Not really. I mean, like, cute, but Wizards of Waverly. She kind of bugs me these days, Selena. Oh, you know who really, really bugged America this week? Who? Jennifer Lopez, which we've been talking about her bugging us. What for a did while. she do this week? Well, she did that video. You didn't see that video that went viral on TikTok. She's like, I like to take my hair out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, no one, like, what? She reminds me of my childhood <laughs> running up and down the block. <laughs> People are like, you're literally not from the hood. Yeah, you're not from the block. Like, and also like, I guess people are just really annoyed that she like always like references like being from Queens and the block yeah. and whatever. But, but like, the Bronx. She's done. Anyways, she's, Jenny from she's the done Bronx. nothing to like get back to her community. I know. There was but, a guy on TikTok that went on, and he's like, I was actually there when she came to the school that she went to, and like her security was literally shoving people out of the way. I mean, okay, like. I guess I wouldn't, like, go all along with the sob story if you, like, aren't going to give back. But, like, just because, like, you made it famous doesn't mean that, like, you have to, like, give back to your community. No, 100%. But then stop claiming the community. No, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that's why it's rubbing people the wrong way. Right. Like, just move on. Be rich. Yeah. Be a rich white woman or be a rich Hispanic white woman. woman basically. Yeah, a Puerto Rican woman that yeah. lives in Beverly Hills and has her gated facility. And yeah, she's yeah. she's fine. Yeah. 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 She's always rubbing people wrong these days. I feel so bad for her. Because, mm-hmm. like, I feel like... Like, if I made it big and famous, I guess it's just different because, like, the Bronx and, like, it's just, like, a different, like, culture. But, like, like if I'm always talking about how, like, you know, I grew up in Gilbert, my dad was a mechanic, my mom right. worked at Walmart or whatever, and, like, made it rich, it's like, I'm not going back and giving back no. to the Walmart. I'm not going back to, like, <laughs> give back to the Mormon church. I'm not to giving Gilbert. back to, like, where my dad went to college to get his mechanics degree. I'm like, F- all y'all. I don't <laughs> yeah. care. I'm yeah. keeping my money. Right. I earned this shit. Right. Never mind. But I'd give back to other causes. Yeah, of course. You'd support in causes that you inspire. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Trans charities. Hey, of course. Gay charities. There you go. And that the would be The Tribal Project. Yes. And that would be your Yeah, yeah. Right, right, angle. right, right. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's like I would always be talking about like, you know, how it's hard being gay or not, whatever, blah, blah. And like but the equivalent would be is talk. if I never, yeah, if I right. never. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. But she ain't doing that. J-Lo. Pay up, bitch. Pay up. It's time for you to pay up. Anyways. But you know what? Sorry, before we end this mm-hmm. rant, mm-hmm. I know we're getting ready. Mm-hmm. I also want to talk about Anne Hathaway for a second. Anne Hathaway? Because, you know, she also had a dark moment when people hated her. Anne Hathaway kind of has a similar ring as Helen Keller. Honestly, if I actually thought if they would ever do a biopic on Helen Keller, <laughs> Anne Hathaway is a shoe in Oscar winning performance. Oscar winning killer performance. I like it. Okay. And they really aged. Did you see the new Vanity Fair thing she did? Yeah. I think she they aged her so much. Like she's obviously older now, but like she's a woman. But like I think, she's I no longer she that great. Disney princess. But, well, but I think like, like like that dark blush they gave her the cheekbones. That's also she just Annie Leibovitz's little... style, f- photography style. It's like very like no, like but a lot of people give her slack when she photographs people of color because it's like very like ashy like gr- mm, gray tone. Right. And even like when you shoot a very pale white woman like Anne Hathaway, it's like it's just gonna make you look gaunty and like yeah you know, old. But so that's anyway, kind of her st- her photography style, right? But she did the Vanity Fair thing, and she like watched. She did, it's called like Vanity Vanity Fair like movie rewind or something. So they watch like celebrity watch their old movies or whatever. Mm-hmm. She was watching all her old movies. But the whole point I'm trying to make is remember when? Well, you might have been too young when Anne Hathaway had that scandal when she won the Oscar. She and she gave that speech that was really like yeah I don't know it, it, it was just ick. Like you watch this and you're like girl you're I doing saw too much. I saw her interview or like quotes from it saying that like. She was canceled. I know, but like, I, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Well, anyway, she just had, she's like, 
She, it sounded like kind of like pick me. It's like people canceled me after I won an Oscar. It's like, all right, well, you just won an Oscar. Like who feels bad for you? Well, that was the thing, but she couldn't get a job because people hated her so much. No, no director wanted did she to put do? her in movies. But what did she, she do? She was just like, you know, like this, you know how we talked about this briefly with, um, what's her name? The other girl, the other Oscar winner who's now back and Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, okay. Who like people kind of found her icky for a while because she was just kind of like, oh, I'm stumbling and I'm always that cuckoo girl. Like right. Anne Hathaway kind of had that same idea, but like she was more so like the wholesome girl. Like I'm just like, you but know. So why did she say the Oscars other than people canceled her? It was just it was just the whole speech itself. I can't remember it word for word, but it was just felt kind of like, just okay, weird vibes. like you're trying me. Like it's like a very pick me. Interesting, though, that like it would be so bad that like people wouldn't work with her. Well, then she also hosted the Oscars with. James Franco and that was horrible apparently I'm gonna have to go watch it cause I'm confused I'm yeah, lost yeah you just didn't watch it and and then she had a whole I mean there was like it was called like the Anne Hath a hate or something that, not Anne Hath a hate Anne, Anne Hath a hate scandal or something like that Anne Hath a I don't know anyway but she she came back and now she's what I was think, the point bigger than better she was. She talked about it in that doubt. In that, uh, no, I was kind of relating it to the whole J Lo thing. Like, the, oh right, right, every right, celebrity right. goes through like it's ick moment where yeah, you yeah. just oh, are no, no, hated for sure. so much. Well, that's why I mean Taylor Swift, your days are numbered. Right, count count your moments. You're because, you're leading no, the pack. No, <laughs> you're, you're, you're leading, I'm leading the pack. No, but like it really is. It's like I think like people like Beyonce. Like I hate that I'm always comparing to them. That's just like who is like at the top of my mind right now. But like people like Beyonce. Who like does not let you into her personal right. life whatsoever, ever. Like you get her music, that is it. And so like it's kind of hard to like cancel her or hate, hate her because like she's not like being thrown in your face 24-7. Yeah. Like it, you see her if you search her out or if you like her and like you keep up with her music, but like she's not being thrown in your face. Right. Taylor Swift, like it's being thrown in our face. Like, right. Every move, like she goes to Nobu, we know about it. She goes to the Bahamas with Travis Kelsey, we know about it. They mm. she's like at the Super Bowl, she's at the right. Oscar, yeah, she's yeah, at this, yeah. she's at yeah. everything, she's everywhere everything everywhere all at once <laughs> yeah. and that can only last for so long even if you are literally america's sweetheart like you do one thing incorrectly and like people will turn on you so, so fast good. as we've seen with Anne hathaway and i'm scared i'm scared for it. like it, right. it it's similar to like margot robbie like was saying in interviews she's like people you know after the whole press circle of barbie was like what's your next project and she's like people are sick of me like i gotta yeah. go in hiding for a minute Chill for a minute and it's like it's kind of like nice to be self-aware like that when you're like right. okay i've just come off a huge blockbuster film gotta give people I've been space on the press series yeah. for the last two years all the oscars like no one wants to see me in a rom-com next year and be in the same circle right and guess who i'm kind of getting like that with who sydney sweeney oh yeah she's Take everywhere a break yeah she's literally everywhere she's in that nun movie yeah she was just in the one with glenn powell yeah she was in um euphoria she was in madam Web. Web, yeah. like i'm just like whoa girly <laughs> yeah. i get it you're hot and you got big boobs like it, it, i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna get canceled for that one but like i just don't like when uh, timothy chalamet another yeah. good example i'm like slow your ropes he's in that bob dylan yeah, picture yeah, now yeah, or whatever yeah. is that who it is bob yeah, dylan yeah yeah I'm like slow down Give us another actor. Why yeah. do we have to have the same three actors and actresses in every Which, movie? I think that's why Jennifer Lawrence took a hiatus. She's yeah. like, wait, I was doing everything all at once and like people hated me for it. Yeah, yeah. And like I had to take a step back. But that just is like not even, that's on like their agents and that's on Hollywood as a whole. It's like right. they need to be taking chances on smaller actors and actresses. Right. Like there's so many talented people in Hollywood. Like give someone else the role. Why is one actress getting all of the roles for right. all the major motion pictures? It's like, that's so dumb. Why right. Why is one actress then going to be like a multimillionaire and mm -hmm. everyone else is getting like chump change trying to get like freaking ABC extra roles? Right. It's weird. Right. But what anyways, an interesting conversation. I can't wait to get into acting. We've just been talking about all the celebrities. Okay, wait. This will be the last thing I say. I'm not done. We can keep going. Um, I have a lot of things. I have be, a lot of feelings. It'll be a long episode today, but <laughs> no, I'm um, kidding. you know how I was like going to become a realtor? Four score and seven no. years ago. Oh, yes. Like during COVID, oh, I was like, you looking thought at, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like was looking at, I mean, yeah. when COVID hit and, you know, I was like, time was tie, tie on the change. And yeah. I was looking at like where my life was going to go. I like looked into getting my real estate license and I wanted to like yes. buy and flip homes. Yes. Did you see the lawsuit that just happened with like realtors? No. I don't know all the tea and maybe like a tyrant can fully fill me in and like understand it fully. But long story short, the government just sued like the national realtors association or whatever yeah. for basically kind of deceiving the whole industry into 
all of these fees. Like when you go and you buy a house and you have like a realtor yeah. who is the, the I'm the buyer right. and you have a buyer's agent and then yeah. the seller has an agent. Yeah. So then you have two agents. Right. And then like they're each getting a commission. Right. And so you're buying like a two million dollar house yeah. and then you're you're giving someone else two hundred yeah, grand. Two hundred grand, yeah. For walking you through the house and yeah. telling you how many bedrooms there are. Yeah. And like writing up a contract. That is fraud. Like that is that makes no sense. Like wow. even one of my friends was telling me about this and they were saying when they purchased their house, like they found the house on Zillow, mm. but like, you can't just like contact a, right. uh, the, the, the owner seller. and right. go. And so they had to get a real estate agent and then they sent them the house. They're like, we want to go look at this. And so the person set up a showing and then they walked into the house and then they put in an offer and that person got a fat check. Right. And it's like, why are you getting a fat check when it's like, I found I a did. house yeah. and you just walked me through. That's so crazy. they, the government sued and they won. And now like the whole structure of realty and like realtors is completely changed. Oh. Like they basically now, like instead of there was like a flat fee that like everyone had just kind of agreed to. Yeah. And now they like take, took that away. Like before you hire a realtor, before they like show you a house or anything, like you like make a contract and you get to make your own rules. You're like, okay, I, I found this house, whatever, blah, here's what I need you to do. I need you to just write up the paperwork and this, and I'm going to give you this much money. And it's like either you're hired or not. Wow. There's like much more transparency and much more like control. So like if you wanted to buy a house, like you technically don't really have to have this person or you could just hire them for like the bare minimum instead of like a flat fee. It's kind of crazy. So thank God. It, all that to say, thank God I didn't become a realtor because I probably would have just been finished with school now and then they would have canceled all. But that's just my luck. But if you would have been a realtor, you would have been on the agency. Oh my God. I would Beverly have been Hills. on Selling Sunset so much fast. Selling Sunset, be Buying Beverly Hills. You would have been on New York. And whatever. I would sell every New house dollar in Los Angeles. And I'd be a great realtor. I'd be like, bitch, you look so sexy in that bathtub. You would be so annoying as a realtor. I'd be so Do you ever watch Million Dollar Listing? No, I've tried it. I missed it. it. I need it. I need it's to start. It's a good it. show. They have so many seasons. I know, but it's good. The uh, the LA one's fun. Yeah, and New York was it. fun too. But LA there's too was many fun. versions. But they all have like the same people. They just co they coexist. So I'm they just all like, kind of know each it's other. too much. It's too much. I'm too late. Yeah. Well, I guess I have homework. I go to watch the Umanskis. Buying Beverly Hills. It's so good. If you guys I, haven't watched, they're kind of giving me. I don't know. the The girls on the press tour with her, their dad is kind of kind of why creeping me out a little bit. Kind of weird that. Their daughters are like just so deep into this show. Like they've been doing every so, press tour. So I read someone Mauricio. give us. I, I, well, it's because it's their show. Yeah, I guess that's true. If you haven't watched like the second season, because they're all realtors all now under the Amansky group. Yeah. Even like the the younger one now is as well. So it's like it's their show. Like it is the Amansky. Yeah. And like all the drama is like their friends and their hangouts and whatever. But someone did a breakthrough or a breakdown on threads because oh. I'm, a, I'm because i'm a threads person not a yeah. not a twitter person anymore because i don't support um okay basically they were like i think that kyle has seen obviously like the success that she has given herself and the fame that she's given herself and the accolades that she's given herself by mm -hmm. being on the real house with beverly hills but also like that's a bravo show and like she didn't have a lot of control over that show for a while like now right. she is an og so like they do give her a lot of respect and whatever sure. but also, like, they're going to air what they're going to air. Like, she isn't in that much control. And right. I don't know. And so people were saying that she purposely kind of withheld a lot of the Mauricio and her drama in order to give it to her kids to oh. be like, I'll help your show. Yeah. Like, you got a new show. I'll help you get it off the ground. All the tea is going to be on there. And I'm going to, like, build this show for you guys that, like, now you guys have a name for yourself, not just, like, I'm the daughter of Kyle Richards. Right. Like, I'm going to set this oh, up to cute. be, like, that's as successful fair. as, like, Selling Sunset. Right. And that's fair. have you guys have your own show and have this be on thing and, like, kind of, like, pass the baton. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's true or not or if she had that thought process, but <laughs> I like to think so. Yeah, I would like to think so, You know, because so you'd like to think, like, she's been on TV for 15 years. Like, yeah. okay, great. Let me have my, let my daughters have a turn and right. not just live under my shadow forever. Like, sure, I'll give you some scoop. I'll, yeah. like, save some of the tea for you. Right. No, I guess this show when they are root me every season and all the girls yell at me at the reunion, <laughs> right. I'll, give the, I'll give the deets to Netflix. Right. Before we end, a lot of shakeups in the Bravo universe. We've said before we end. No, 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 but I just. A hundred times no, before. <laughs> no, before we end. This and is then we go over 20 end. minutes. So Bravo universe, a lot of shakeups in the housewives worlds. Thank God. Please talk about them in your next episode. We will not go into this episode, but maybe a uh, Patreon's in the work. You can give us all the scoop on 
what's Maybe. happening in the the Real Housewives uh, universe because mm-hmm. there's a lot happening there. There is a lot of shakeups. I think you. I would... think they need to just cancel Potomac, but that's my tea on that. Don't come for the grand dom. Well, she might be out, so who knows? Everyone else is. No, there's one person that deserves to stay as the grand dom. Um, except for I don't support people who um drink and drive. Okay, she got a DUI. Shannon Bador gets a DUI every and other week. And I don't support her. Every other week. I don't support her anymore <laughs> either. If Luanne you get a DUI, De- has like six. No, she doesn't. Yeah, Luann has like four. I don't think she has DUI. She doesn't drive. She lives in New York City. She's been she's been uh, arrested for being in, intoxicated mess, in public mess. and yeah, punching uh, yeah. bodyguards. But that I forgive even more than like yeah, no, a DUI. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You are a 70-year-old woman. Right. Like, you got to do better. And yeah. you're lucky that no one got her. You need a driver. Anyways... Happy Wednesday, everyone. Happy, Happy Hump Day. Wednesday. What a rant on the what totally rant. random. I'm still trying to think of a jingle. Totally, totally, totally random, totally random, totally, 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 totally. What, What's the one we could like? What's like a song we could that, that was like, that was giving me um, Pitch Perfect vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm a musical guy. <laughs> totally, 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 totally random. <laughs> that sounds like you're cal- calling for a husband. <laughs> <laughs> <E-oh>. <laughs> <laughs> this Iowa, was, Iowa City State Fair. I've got my eye on oh, you. I want to go to the Iowa State No, we Fair, need to so go. We need to figure out when it and, is. Uh, Should we road trip? Should we do? Oh, they have a California and, one. And we'll vlog it and we'll go to, well, well let's go to the California one <laughs> and we'll vlog it for the Patreon. I don't know if they do the, the husband calling oh, in well, California. Oh, we'll head it up. We'll yeah. be in the parking lot. <laughs> $5 to the best husband caller and we'll vlog it for the Patreon. That'd be amazing. Anyone, um, if you guys have ideas for a Patreon, so... Here's a little sneak peek. If you guys have made it for the two and a half hours through oh this episode. Oh my gosh. I mean. But Friday episodes are going to be on there and there's going to be at least one vlog a month on Patreon. The first vlog is going to be Coachella. And then I think the second one, if I can convince Miss Josefina Cuervo, I want to take us to the happiest place on <gasps> earth. Ooh. Disneyland. Say less. Um, if anyone can let me borrow their season pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or bring me along. Yeah, that's their... only happening if some of you guys <laughs> sign up so that we can pay to go. So, Or if someone can, like, bring smuggle me in as their five-year-old son or something. <laughs> Just put me in a stroller. I'll, I'll bring him in as a leprechaun. <laughs> yes. That would be amazing. I haven't been to Disneyland in years. Yeah, let's go. And, like, I don't, I can't even tell. Have you been since, like, Star Wars Land opened? I don't yeah. even know what Star Wars I Land looked like. I went for um, Tessa's birthday. Oh, that's right. Ago. Yeah, that's right. I've never seen Star Wars Land. Well, it's kind of I'm Star sure Wars I would Land. Shed a I don't queer. know if that's what shed it's called. A, shed a tear. Shed a queer. <laughs> shed a you queer. shed a queer. <laughs> I shed a quick tear is what I meant to say. Anyways, guys, happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a great week. I will see you guys on Friday. Don't forget to rate and review, subscribe, do all of the things. Leave me a nice rating. I don't know. It just it helps me a lot. And thanks um, so much, Jose. Yeah. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you can be notified when uh, Miss Miss Tyquila posts a new video. Which is the only one Jose is here. <laughs> drop a comment in the comment below. Let us know what you thought. Only nice thoughts, though, because um, I know you guys can get because a little Because we're wild. deeply insecure and gay. <laughs> yeah, y'all so, can get a little wild in your comments. If you leave negative comments, that means you're homophobic and it's considered a hate crime and I will call my lawyer. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> bye. 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 bye.